Moshe Brissett out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point. And for the Nuggets, Porter Jr. and Jokic down low. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And it's Gordon in at the small forward position. Doris looks like the matchup in the middle tonight will be one to watch. Two of the best pivots on the planet. EA, Big Ben with big time games. And it's easy to know where the action's going to play out. The combo guard, Murray. Capable of hurting you with his scoring as well as with his passing. Great open look there. He's consistent from out there. Especially when you give him that kind of room. Holiday against Murray. Launches a three. Porzingis grabs the board. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Outside Holiday. From deep. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. How about the handles by Kristaps Porzingis? You know, another international prospect coming in with a developed skill set. Murray, after missing his first attempt, now one for two. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now, you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Holiday from long range. Denver grabs the miss. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. To the paint. Out to the right wing. Jokic finds Murray. Jokic the screen. Here's the three. Murray, no good. Boston's gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Brown. And the jam by Brown. Oh, my goodness. Brown finishes off the drive, not simply laying it in, but a message of authority on the double. And it's Murray finishing it off. And despite the size of this match, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Holiday from long range, and it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Well, Porzingis does a nice job looking for the window to make his teammate better. Pretty pass. Gordon, tip back in for two. Now that takes a skillful touch. Yeah, excellent control to just ease the ball back up and in. Holiday against Murray. Porzingis with a screen on Murray. Back to Porzingis. Over Murray. Can't hit the free throw line jumper. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Here's Porter. And then Porter with the dunk. Being Porter Jr. is six foot ten, you have to know where he is at all times, especially when he's lurking inside. Pass to Porzingis. Here he goes. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. This is Drew Holiday. And so Jokic will bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. Seven-point differential. And it's Murray finishing it off. What a dynamic drive by Murray. Upsetting the defense and getting him to a shot. Holiday surveying the floor. Tatum against Gordon. Porzingis with a screen on Gordon. And Tatum, here we go. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Well, you can see the level of aggression. If Jason Tatum sees a window of opportunity to drive it, he will expose it. Jokic in the post. He's covered by Holiday. And there's Jokic on the assist by Murray. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused when weird plays happen. A different look for Denver. Jordan's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Najee comes in for Michael Porter. And it's Jackson in for Jamal Murray. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. Jackson, the pass to Jordan. Back to Jackson. To the middle. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Oh, neither of these teams can miss. At the same time, neither is playing a ton of defense either. Tatum, a screen on Jackson. White with it. Checked by Gordon. Tatum can't hit. 
The Nuggets trail. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Takes the three. Connects from downtown. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Porzingis with a screen on Jackson. Tatum from long range. He's off on that one. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. It's the Celtics up by two. Let's take a quick break, and then it's off. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Boston. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. We've also seen them show a willingness to take advantage of the mid-range opportunities. The defense conceding these looks, and they're cashing in. We've got Zeke Naji, Reggie Jackson out there with Christian Brown. Then there's DeAndre Jordan, and it's Watson in at the three slot. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Outside Tatum. Let's it fly. That won't go either for Tatum. And Denver shooting 71%. Their offense has looked unstoppable all game long. Brown, pass to Jordan. Jackson on the wing. Celtics foul. Springer. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Here's Brown. Dodgy sets a screen to the inside. Here's Brown. Just two to shoot. Tries again. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. Here's White. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jordan's got four rebounds now. To the left side wing. It's stolen by Tatum. Now the Celtics on the move. Here's Brissett. And it goes. As the official calls the foul. And he'll shoot one more at the line. And we've heard some, like Greg Popovich, say that three-pointers are becoming too prevalent. Doris, you think they overwhelm other parts of the game? You know what? There is obviously a heavy emphasis on two things. Three-point shooting and restricted area attempts. I think the feeling is the mid-range has been eliminated. But here's what I know, B.A. To win a playoff series, that mid-range game comes back into play. And again, I go back to the point that I have been consistent about. To me, the game is still in a great place. Shot clock at five. Porter in the post. Brissett's there. Porter gets the bucket. Porter's got his second bucket on the night. Smart play there by Porter. Working his way inside to find a reliable, close-range look. White for three. Here's Cornett. Rejected by Jokic. Down low. Jokic with a screen on White. Here's Murray. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And the intensity Murray plays with is impressive. Excellent work forcing the issue and drawing the contact. The first free throw is good. Naji, he's checked in for Denver. Caldwell Pope comes in for Brown. That one falls, so he hits both of them. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Outside Holiday, pass to Porzingis. Let's go with a three. Wow, Porzingis with the triple. Now this is why they call him the unicorn. Porzingis off the catch, ready to rise and fire. That's seven for three, everybody. And the ball out of bounds. The Celtics will have it. And the Nuggets making a change here. Gordon's checked in. And so it's Porzingis with it. He brings it up for the Celtics. On the wing, Holiday, defended by Murray. Out to the wing. Here's Springer, defended by Gordon. 
two minutes. Four seconds for the screen on Murray. Three pointer, Holiday. And the Celtics another three. Three. From year to year, Holiday is a little inconsistent from three, but the defense has to respect his shot. And the dunk by Jokic. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. Three pointer, Holiday. Left side, Brown. Another shot. Back to Porzingis. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. The Nuggets have gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Here's Gordon. Outside, Caldwell Pope. 1-11 left to play in the second quarter. Off target with the three. Boston's gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Porzingis sets a screen, puts up a deep three. Holiday, that one's good. Holiday's got 12. Terrific night for Holiday so far, and I have to pin it on his energy. He's given this game all he's got. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Sweet little floater. He's got five. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. But for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind him. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. And the Nuggets going with a whole new group out there. The Nuggets have gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Boston, no good that time either. After he pulled off that rare crossover, he had nothing left for the finish. Jackson against Holiday. Jackson, the pass to Porter. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's an exceptionally skilled player. You hope Michael Porter Jr. stays healthy. I mean, his potential is Michael limitless. Jr. Two shots. Porter hits them both. And here's Holiday. And counted from 19 feet away. Holiday's got eight Luke points Porter. here in the quarter. This right here. Whew. This is how you want to play the game. With passion, with energy, just a great hustle play right there. And so it's Drew Holiday making things happen for Boston. Hit a couple from downtown this quarter. We'll be right back. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. What a game we're seeing from Drew Holiday. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. On the court right now for the Celtics. White and Brown on the two of the three. Then there's Luke Cornett, then there's Drew Holiday, and it's Walsh in at the power forward position. And great job to establish position and square up. The Celtics with the lead. Outside Holiday. Three-pointer. Count that one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's six of nine tonight. I mean, you watch Holiday play this game. He just explodes off the screens. Very good in pick and roll. Jackson, pass to Watson. And stolen by Holiday. Let's it go from the wing. Tatum can't hit. The Nuggets shooting 67% for the game. Just outstanding. How about that pass from Richie Jackson? Right on the money, folks. Boston has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Holiday against Jackson. Now here's Holiday. Tight defense on him. Pass to Walsh. Clock at six. Tatum from long range. And again, Jason Boston Tatum. with the triple. 
what a weapon the three has become for Jason Tatum. Look out. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Denver, Michael Porter Jr. That's good from Porter. A different look for Denver. Gordon, he's checked in for Watson. Caldwell Pope comes in for Brown. And Jamal Murray is subbed in for Jackson. Here's White. Still no points. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. Outside Porzingis. On the wing, Tatum. Back to Porzingis. Operating inside. Porzingis. Yeah, the evolution of Tatum as a passer is evident. This guy more committed than ever to making the right play. Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. His hate time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. Outside Tatum. Tries to spin move. Pass to Porzingis. The kick to Tatum. For three, and it's Denver with a rebound. Jordan's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Caldwell Pope, outside Porter. Back to Caldwell Pope. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. The kick to Tatum. And Contavious Caldwell Pope picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. A different look for Denver. Jokic is checked in for Jordan. And it's Najee in for Porter Jr. Murray deciding where to go with it. Pass to Najee. Left side Murray. Brown against Caldwell Pope. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. Tatum with a screen. On the wing, Tatum. Up and over Gordon. Another score. His fifth make out of ten tries. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Here's Murray. And count it. Now five for seven. Skilled finish by Murray. He can score inside and outside, really anywhere on the court. Tatum, a screen on Murray. Outside Tatum. Fires for three. And Tatum drills the three. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at them. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. For the Nuggets, Brown comes in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Jackson in for Jamal Murray. And the Celtics also making a change. Springer's checked in. The shot from the low post is good. And the Celtics lead by three. Denver has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. And it's Jackson on the take. Najee passes to Brown. The ball's knocked loose. Now the Celtics on the move. Tatum from long range. Book it again. Jason Seven Tatum. for 12 and going at the defense. And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Brown passes to Jokic. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Brown. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Leading the defense like a point guard. He's got the size to survey over the top of the defense and find the open man. That was beautiful. 
it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. They've got Aaron Gordon. DeAndre Jordan is out there with Zeke Nagy. Then there's Christian Brown. And it's Jackson in at the one spot. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Pass to Gordon. Here's Brown. Five to shoot. The Nuggets need to get one up. Great D that time from Porzingis. And the Celtics shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. Drew Holiday's checked in for Boston. Porzingis with a screen on Gordon. Here's Tatum. Porzingis with it. Pass to Holiday. And stolen by Murray. From downtown, and Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Yeah, a lot of coaches might let you hear it for taking the three-pointer on the break, but I like the decision there. The D had already collapsed inside. Tatum with a screen. Inside. Porzingis misses, and so Jokic will bring it up for Denver. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. Okay, Michael Porter. I mean, he just explodes inside and up to the rim before anyone can stop him. Tatum with a screen. Here's Holiday. Soft touch off the glass. Holiday's got 19 points. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Murray against Holiday. Here's Caldwell Pope. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Caldwell Pope's got nine points now in the second half. And Boston calls time here. Celtics call time. Fans, please give a big round of applause for to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. During that last break, I heard Joe Mazzula as he talked with the team. Well, Coach is thrilled with their three-point shooting, saying in the huddle, guys, let's keep it up. Continue to shoot it from deep. It's working. They've been on fire from distance so far. Thank you for that, Ali. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. In a pick-and-roll game, the length and athleticism of Kristaps Porzingis is going to be a big-time problem. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. Boy, and not just the aggression, the ability to get to the rim, but how about the finish with intention? Oh. The shot by Holiday, no good. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Jokic with a screen on Brown. Outside Porter. Just five on the clock. Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. Aaron Gordon in a big moment, unafraid to deliver. How pretty is that? Holiday against Murray. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Back to Holiday. Banked it in off the glass. Holiday's got four points in the quarter. Stepping up. Big time basket from Drew. I mean, we've seen him excel in big moments before. But wow. Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Denver's gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Jason Holiday against Murray. Pass to Caldwell Pope. From outside, off the mark. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Outside Porzingis. Now Tatum. Back to Porzingis. Porzingis sets a screen. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Chris Dapps, Porzingis in a big spot, not an inch of back to him. That is beautiful. And this is the absolute wrong time to stop communicating. They have to get in sync. A minute six left in the game. Down low. Oh, 
Tatum with a throwdown. It's been great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. The Nuggets with another miss. If you want to cut into a lead, you have got to trust your teammates and move the ball. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Tatum, a screen on Caldwell Pope. Outside Tatum. Just five to shoot. To the inside. Poor thing is putting the size to work. The defense made the mistake of allowing Kristaps Porzingis to find his rhythm. Going to be a long night if you don't cool him off. Money! And we know Murray can get it done in these big moments. I mean, he can be just fearless. White against Caldwell Pope. Now White. Pass to Porzingis. It's tipped. White, the pass to Tatum. And the three off target.
for many years. Then in consideration, what kind of game can we expect with the Grizzled Group on the... Sixers starting group. We've got Joe. Oh, yes. yes. Respect. LeBron showing the artistry that other players could only dream of. Covington is screen on Russell. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And not the most That's common call you'll call. see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that could go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Here's the pass to Hachimura. Good, and the assist goes to James. Smart and so unselfish. Excellent find by LeBron. Here's Dalton. He's guarded by Russell. Pass to Maxi. Fires from deep. And Davis pulls it down. The Lakers with a quick start to this game. It's a five-point game. James kicks to Davis. Here's Christie. Six to shoot. Hachimura with a screen on Maxi. Let's go. Again, Los Angeles. Using outstanding floor awareness there. Russell's ability to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Here's Maxi, and slam dunk Maxie. by Maxi. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, you'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Here's Russell after the Sixers pick up two. And easy two points yeah. on the lane. Oh, setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag and, and where's the help defensively no excuse you have to be aware he should be on your radar all the time lakers have gone four four to start so a nice offensive rhythm to start here good with the elite handle lebron has defenders at his mercy hey, yo, yo, right here. here's down oh. two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul yeah easy call First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to coach you good. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. And so he makes both from the line. Lakers have gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. Russell against Maxi. Shoots from the corner. Again, Los Angeles. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Covington against LeBron. This is it to Christian. Out to Russell. The clock is at three. For the three. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And the 76ers making a change here. Lowry's checked in. Number seven, Kyle Maxi against Christie. And B sets the pick for Maxi. That three off the mark. Lakers leading by seven. 
Russell with a wide open look. And again, Los Angeles with a triple. Three. That was quick. Already out to a double digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here, possibly over before it began. Now, here's Lowry in the dunk by MB. Not the biggest of players out there, Kyle Lowry, but he has no problem seeing through the defense on that pick and roll. Outside, James. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. First team. You know, at this point, I think we can call LeBron James timeless. The seasons change, but his game stays strong. He's a rare talent. Austin Reeves is checked in for the Lakers. Reddish comes in for Christie. As 76ers making a switch here. Elton's checked in. Oubre, good. Oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. Over to the wing. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by Melton. Reeves gets the bucket. We're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now here is Lowry. Scoreless thus far. Pass to Embiid. Pocket six. Embiid the screen. The 76ers need to get off a shot. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. And boy, did they get bailed out on that possession. Embiid able to just make something out of nothing. Outside for Davis. Now, here's Reddish. Now recovering. There's the pick. Reddish the pass to Reeves. Here's the three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. Obviously, a mix up defensively on that possession. And so it's Los Angeles with a 10 point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one sided so far. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. And also, they've been draining mid-range jump shots, measuring the defense well, and just taking what they give them. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, Smith is out there with DeAnthony Melton. Then there's Buddy Heal, and there's Muhammad Bamba, and it's Wilson in a power forward. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Come to me, come to me. Outside, James. Out to the right wing. Pick up, pick up. Here's Reeves. Again, the Lakers. Awesome. That kick takes the knee totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. And so it's the Lakers with it after the Sixers pick up two. Davis and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Defensive Lakers. Foul. You know, Steve, the last couple Mohammed. years, uh, League One, scoring is way up for teams, but also for individual players. What's your read on that? Well, I think from the scoring situation, uh, defense is totally different than what we played. It's more free-flowing. Also, the three-point shot, they're taking way more three-point shots, long rebounds, and they have fast break, more fast break and transition points. But it all comes down to shooting a three. More threes mean more points. Here's Reeves. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Back to Reddish. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. 
and they'll keep possession. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Christian Woods checked in for Davis. Now into the lineup, your Lakers. Number 35. The 76ers trail by 12. Here's Heald, driving the lane. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And what a show of agility by Heald. Getting around the contact there and right to his finish. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, Kevin. The NBA, of course, is so loaded, it's not easy to come out on top. Joel Embiid said, for us to be able to win, we need to try to be perfect. I need to play at the highest level possible. Our shooters and defense have to do their job. It's tough, but it's fun. I guess you have to enjoy the journey as well, Kevin. Yep, the journey, right, David, is the reward. That's for sure. Dave, thanks. The offensive rebound. That one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Bamba. The activity from Bamba when he's playing with a high motor, watch out. Reeves the pass to Reddish. Vanderbilt setting the pick for Reddish. Wide open look. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. The 76ers have had two chances at the line already, making a both. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Russell comes in for Austin Reed. Christie subbed in for Reddish. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Harris has checked in for Bamba. Nice bucket. The polished inside game. Something Harris relies on. Here's Prince, and Prince with the jam. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-open. The 76ers have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Here's Russell, seven points in the game. 11 left to play here in the half. Prince outside. Vanderbilt with the screen. Prince kicks to Russell. And the pass to Wood. Driving in and finished off by Wood. And on the drive, Wood's his size and speed make him so difficult to defend. He just busts right through the defense. Smith surveying the D, and there's the foul, and it's on Dorian Prince. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. The 76ers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Axie's checked in for D'Anthony Melton, and he makes both free throws. Lakers leading by six. Right wing. Outside, Russell. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Good form on the jump shot. Russell's ability to stress the floor makes him even more valuable. Russell against Smith. Axie on the wing. Healed from outside. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. It's Russell with the drive. Plays it up off the glass. Russell. Russell's got 12. So shifty with the ball in his hands. Russell changes pace with the best of them. Harris outside. That shot is off. And so that's the end of the first half. Lakers lead by nine. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. 34. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. It's been a clinic out there with D'Angelo Russell. 
Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Christie is out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Hachimura in at the three, the small forward. That's the group starting the second half for Darvin Ham. Now here's James. Here's Russell. Pops in the layup for two. Russell's got the first field goal of the second half for Los Angeles. An active competitor, Russell won't go down without a fight, especially around the rim. That one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Maxi. LA has gone along perfectly from three-point range tonight. They've gone five for five. James slams it in. You want the highest percentage look? LeBron at the rim. That'll do it. Oubre, a screen on Russell. Now, that's what I yeah. call a momentum yeah. changer. Yeah, when you've got a point guard, but that kind of spring, no lead is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. In the dunk by James. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. And Embiid oh, throws it down. And seeing a guy as big as Embiid being so fluid in terms of his movement, jaw driver. And ever since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Lowry a screen on Christie. Maxie and slam dunk by Maxie. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Tyrese Maxey's 6 a.m. workouts give him an edge. His motto, I prepare in front of nobody to perform in front of thousands. He says he's done three workouts before someone else even opens their eyes to prepare to work out. He said, I feel like that creates a psychological advantage when I step on the court. I have no reason to fear anybody. Kevin? No reason at all. Hey, thanks, D.A. Looming large on the interior, M.B. Oh, a big move by LeBron! Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now here is Davis. Davis setting the pick for Hatchimer. And another basket for the Lakers. 157 left here in the third quarter. Here's Lowry. Banked in off the glass. Lowry's got his first basket. Gifted score. I like when Lowry takes initiative and looks to capitalize inside. Russell dishes to Davis. In the corner it's James. Davis with a screen on Covington. LeBron outside. It's up a three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Oubre outside. Embiid sets the pick for Oubre. Nice move. And he sinks the layup. Oubre has got six points. Crafty at cashing in from there. Oubre Jr. enjoys working on his interior game when given the opportunity. Pass to James. There's a minute left to play in the third. To the left wing, just four to shoot. Here's Hachimura, and there's another one for the Lakers. And Philadelphia calls time here. You look at James, what a contribution. Good decision to regather, talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. So 
some changes for the Lakers. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Hachimura. Reddish comes in for D'Angelo Russell. And it's Austin Reeves in for Christie. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Reed is checked in for Joel Embiid. Heald comes in for Kelly Oubre. De'Anthony Melton, he's checked in for Maxi. And Smith subbed in for Kyle Lowry. Prince with it, out guarded by Heald. Pass to Prince, a three, sinks the three-pointer. And now a 12-point Laker lead. Prince has gotten better at creating his own shot, but the catch-and-shoot game is still his specialty. It's good. Smith. Smith's got his second bucket. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. And led by as many as 14 points. The Anthony Melton picks up the foul. That's his first that is his first foul. foul of the game. First team foul. Now into the lineup. Here's Reeves. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So. chance here for a three-point play. Love the unselfishness. Not only can Cam create for himself, he can also create for others. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And he deserves a lot of credit for what he was able to do at the line last year. 86% from the strike. And a deep three from heel. Torian Prince, he does it every night. He competes terrifically. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. The Lakers on top. They lead by 13. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this way? At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just take it what the defense allows. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. Got healed. Read out there with Wilson. And then Smith. And it's Melton in a two-guard. Oh, up high and down hard. With that one he got a little extra forceful. You're right with that one. And the Anthony Melton picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Prince against Heal. Pass to Wood. Over in the corner, Reddish. And another three for the Lakers. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. And here is Heal following the three-pointer from Cam Reddish. Smith outside, back to Reed, shot clock at six. Tries again, Wood with the block. Man, an aggressive block there by Wood. He's not going to shy away from competing defensively. Healed against Prince. And there's the pass to Reeves. A shot again, Los Angeles. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Next to Boyd, and he's your time. And give a big round of applause to your Lakers New Dance team. Making a change here. And Christie's checked in. Then for the 76ers, Joel Embiid. He's checked in for Paul Reed. Robert Covington comes in for DJ Wilson. And Maxi subbed in for Smith. And that one's good, Maxi. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Christie against Maxi. Prince, right side. Vanderbilt the pass to Prince. Lakers working the ball around now. Five to shoot. 
here's Reeves. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. Gets it to go. That one good from Melton. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Here's Christie. Pass to Wood. Wood sets a screen. Prince outside. Two men remaining in his ball. From the arc. That shot no good. The 76ers trail by 18. Here's Melton. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Beautiful dime from Covington. He doesn't hesitate to share the ball. Prince outside. Wood with the screen for Prince to the wing right side. Here's Reeves, and there's the drive. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. And how about Embiid putting the versatility on full display? How many other bigs can do that? And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Lakers. Off was like watching a three-point shoot contest tonight here. And, and they just didn't seem to let up, whether the last several shots went down or not. Three after three, it, it just seemed to pay off for them. They kick out to heel. Passes it to Melton. Embiid sets the pick for Melton. And they'll get another chance. From outside the arc, and Joel Embiid Joel gets the three. Embiid. Well, no question, Joel Embiid is page one on the scouting report. Maybe page two and three as well. He is. And so the coach's challenge here comes into play. The coach protesting the personal foul call. And, and this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail. Look. Number three. And the eagle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get an... The ruling on the floor is overturned. The action really is, and, and how hard it the can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air so they have determined to overrule the original call and guys this is what it's all about getting the call right and i think in this case the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor they got it right with the review christy the pass to reeves vanderbilt with it down low Pulls up on the wing. Reeves gets the bucket. And the Lakers lead by 17. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Here's Christie.
These young boys got some bounce, but what I like is the skill and the basketball IQ combined with the athleticism. That's why you're seeing so many beautiful plays out here. And now the Indiana Pacers starters. We've got Miles Turner, Walker out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton, and it's Shepard in at the shooting guard position. Down to five on the shot clock. Drills it from deep. You know this is coming with Brown. He is a ruthless sniper outside. Holiday against Halliburton. Pass to Turner. And stolen by Porzingis. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Here's Brown. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Nobody's going to catch Brown in the open court like that. Nobody. Siakam with a screen on Holiday. Siakam against Holiday. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And he knocks down the first one. Well, Grant, the Pacers made no secret about their focus on improving defensively. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's how they'll take the next step. They rank near the bottom in a lot of defensive categories, and that has to change, and of course, they know it. Here's Porzingis, and a slam dunk by Porzingis. And put it on a platter. Holiday serving it up for his teammate. Halliburton with the ball. The three is up. They get it back. Here's Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Now here's Tatum. And again, Boston with the triple. See, this is what I like about Tatum and the way he uses the pick. That extra room is all he needed and just knocks down the shot. There's a screen by Turner. To the paint. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Standing at 7-3. We have never seen a player quite like Chris Stapps Porzingis. A fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Pass to Shepard. Turner, a screen on Brown. Drives to the hoop. Outside for Halliburton. Siakam with it. Ooh, good work defensively by Holiday. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about out shooting bounds, against him next time. Indiana out of bounds. Ball. It'll be Indiana's ball. Richard, we saw a new look for Jalen Brown in 2023. But injury forced him to don a mask. Yeah, face masks are kind of infamous right now. Some guys struggle with them. Some guys are defined by it. Didn't seem to bother Brown that much. I will give him that. Now here's Halliburton. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. A good work by Halliburton outthinking the defense and creating an opportunity for himself. Running in the first two minutes. Halliburton against Holiday. To the middle. Porzingis in the post. Against Turner. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Now, we know he can hit threes, but Chris Stapp's showing he can slam it, too. Halliburton against Holiday. And the basket by Halliburton. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here's Tatum. to Holiday. Here's Porzingis. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Porzingis has got eight. Well within range for Porzingis. <laughs> the Latvian probably was sinking these since he was young. Halliburton looking over the floor. Pass to Walker. 
The rebound by Brissett. Boston has gone two of two at the perimeter. Tatum finds Holiday. On the wing, Tatum. He's covered by Siakam. And it's Tatum missing. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. They trail by six. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. Weird plays happen. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. CJ McConnell. Outside Holiday. Pass to Brown. The kick to Tatum. The three. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so it's Boston with a six. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. And the Pacers looking at who they've got. Obi Toppin out there with Benedict Matherin. Then there's T.J. McConnell. Then there's Isaiah Jackson. And it's Nimhard in at the two. Not the best three-point shooter in the league, but he's got enough skill that you can't just let him fire it up. And talk about consistency, RJ. Boston has made the Eastern Conference Finals five out of the last seven years. Yeah, that's pretty phenomenal, especially since some of their best players are still developing. I know a guy that thinks that they haven't been very good for a very long time, but I know what Celtics fans want. They want to win, but they should still feel very proud of what this young team has accomplished. Here's Tatum. Following the bucket by the Pacers. Horford, a screen on Matherin. To the paint. Oh, getting it done. Horford gets it to go. Clever play by Tatum. Drawing the attention to him, only to give it away. Here's Nimhart, defended by Brown. Outside for McConnell. Six on the shot clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And a slam dunk by Toppin. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Springer, he's checked in for Boston. Now the Celtics on the move. And here's Brown for three. Matherin with a rebound. Indiana trailing here. And here's Toppin from the arc. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. White against McConnell. White drives in. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot, and will go to the line. Well, if we want to talk about Derek White for a moment, he's become such an effective defender, Greg. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. Here's Nimhart. No points yet. Toppin outside. Kicks it out to Jackson. Fires the three. The shot by Nimhart, no good. For Boston, they've gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Oh, here's White on the drive. And he gets it to go. And now it's a seven-point Boston lead. Indiana's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Jackson with a screen on White. And the call will be against Derek White. That's his first foul. Second team foul. There's a screen by Toppin. Here's Nimhart. No good on the three. The Celtics have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. Brown with it. Picked up by Matherin. He tries the three. And the basket by Springer. 
Springer's got his first three points of the game. Springer not just being selfless, but also smart with the ball. Brown is able to find the best guy for the right shot. White against Matherin. Count it. One for one to start the game. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Here's Springer. It's Brown on the wing. 124 left in the second quarter. Out to Horford. Five on the clock. Pacers with a rebound. And talk about a team that's known for being unselfish. The Indiana Pacers. Yeah, you know, B.A., it's part of their core philosophy. Keep the ball moving, keep everyone involved and engaged. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, Benedict Matherin talked about his motivation. He said, quote, a lot of people play a sport because they have talent, but I play for a different reason. I want to be one of the greatest players ever, and I want to take care of my family. I made that promise to myself when I was very young, and I have no choice but to be great. That's the way it is. BA? All right, Allie, thank you. Good reporting there. Well, Boston's been a franchise that has sustained winning, Richard. Yeah, BA, look, they've had down years like anyone, but they don't have down decades. In the Celtics, they replenish as fast as any team outside of maybe their rival Lakers. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Brown. 44 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his first foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Brissett's checked in for Boston. Drew Holiday comes in for White. Holiday. Now here's Halliburton. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. Come to it! Down low. And then Turner with the dunk. Turner. The execution has been better lately. But do they have enough energy to pull it off? The thing they have to watch for is mental fatigue. They have to stay focused and finish the job. Boy, I'll tell you, when Holiday shifts gears, he quickly leaves people behind. Halliburton outside. Walker, a screen on Holiday. Pass to Shepard. Back to Halliburton. Three-pointer. Yes! Top point from Tyrese. Coach is loving the ball movement. Here's Holiday. No good. Misses at the buzzer. Just a tough guy to get around. Halliburton, very appreciated, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break. Ready for the third quarter. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. You look at Kristaps Porzingis. What a contribution. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. The star wing pair is Brown and Tatum outside. O'Shea Brissett out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. So it's Boston now. The Pacers making their last shot. Jason Tatum! He's a sharpshooter! And Grant, some players feel like certain officials have it out for him. Did you ever see any of that? You know what, B.A.? The refs are human, too. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> but they're supposed to be impartial. So you go after them for a while, it's possible they will hold the grudge. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Four-point game. Siakam with a screen on Holiday. Halliburton with the ball. Guarded now by Holiday. There's a screen by Turner. Four on the clock. Shepard. It's rebounded by Jalen Brown. Boston's gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Holiday against Siakam. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Brown with it. Oh, Brown gonna go get it! And Brown with the stuff! When you 
want an emphatic finish, Brown is the man you are looking for. He does not waste opportunities like that. Springer, he's checked in for Boston. First team foul. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Walker, screen on Holiday, inside. Springer. And Walker gets it to go on the assist from Halliburton. Walker's got his first basket. As a roller, Walker has soft hands for the catch, and he is aggressive. Porzingis sets a screen. Here's Holiday. Up and in on the layup. Holiday's got six points. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Siakam with a screen on Holiday to the inside. Siakam gets the bucket. How's that for a crafty move? Siakam will find a way to finish no matter what. Halliburton against Holiday. Outside Tatum. 4-3. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Nine points in the game. He's earning his keep offensively, a key part of their winning effort at this point. Halliburton against Holiday. Turner, a screen on Tatum. The drive by Siakam. Lays it up and banks it in. A long swing player. Siakam uses that 6'9 length down low. Tatum from long range. And the Celtics have another three. Now he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And of course it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. Got to be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. Outside Holiday. Pass to Porzingis. Porzingis putting the size to work. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. And an intentional foul right there. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Holiday. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. A minute 31 left in the third. This one for three. Here's Turner. The kick out to Walker. Shot clock at six. Second shot opportunity. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. Third team foul. And he makes a first. So Indiana going with an almost entire new group here. TJ McConnell. And so McConnell nails them both. Boston's gone six of eight from the three-point line in this matchup. It's White with a drive. A good look from Horford. Another one falls for Boston. Oh, nice to have a big man you can count on to hit that shot. Makes the offense much more diverse. Jackson with a screen on Tatum. Here's Matherin. Outside for McConnell. Driving inside. Ooh, rejected by Horford. He's all alone. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. Woo! His energy. Is unmatched. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Wow. Over to the wing. There's 31 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Boston has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Tatum way outside. And Tatum buries it from long distance. Are you serious? What a sweet move. Broke his ankles on that one. For three, Matherin. On target from range. Matherin's got seven points. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Oh, a deep three from Tatum. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Boston. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. 
And a look at the five for the Pacers to start the fourth quarter. Isaiah Jackson is out there with Obi Toppin. Then there's Benedict Matherin. Then there's T.J. McConnell. And it's Nimhard in at the two guard. Down to five on the shot clock. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Horford can't hit. Even though it wasn't a clear path, he knows that that's a shot he should make more oftentimes than not. There's a screen by Toppin. Here's Nimhart. And again, it's Indiana with a three. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? And Horford gets it to go. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. They're behind right now, but you can't pin the blame on this guy. Nope, he's got to get some more help from somebody on his team. Help him. Help that man. Now here's Horford. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And Grant, you look at the longevity of Horford's career. He's done a great job reinventing himself. You know, B.A., he added the three to his game once he hit 30. And that has extended his career by changing how he plays. He still can be an X-factor on any given night. Holiday's checked in for Springer. To the paint. The dunk by Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. McConnell against Holiday. Horford outside. Pass to White. The three ball. Three pointer goes up. Three pointer goes down for White. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Now here's Holiday. And here's Horford. Puts it up. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Horford's got nine points now in the second half. And hey, I mean, Horford can make this shot. Give him any breathing room, he's always ready to shoot. So Indiana ends up going with a new group. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Halliburton up top. He's covered by Holiday. And they pick up two. Yeah, slick drive by Halliburton. Cutting through the defense into a shot. Holiday surveying the floor. Screen by Horford. The three is up. And again, Boston with the triple. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. And the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digits. And look at the vision from Halliburton. Love seeing ball movement like this. Inside. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And here's Holiday. Pass to Horford. Outside Holiday. Here's Walsh. He's covered by Siakam. Going inside. And he dumps it down. The reverse slam. That was sweet. Ah, the finesse on full display. Now here's Halliburton. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Halliburton. And the Celtics making a change here. Tatum's checked in. Number zero, Jason Tatum. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Pass to Brown. Horford outside. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Turner. Off the left rim and out. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for Indiana. Trailing by 13. Well, with a comeback out of range, we can My put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Celtics. I was really impressed with their attitude today, Grant. Competitive game. They battled through every step of the way. And B.A., can you say big-time effort and energy? <laughs> I mean, just a tremendous performance. They were well-deserving of this win.
And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Jason Tatum. I have to say, he was totally unleashed tonight, flying up and down the court, helping out however he could. He made a big impact on both ends. Now here's Brown. Pass to Horford. Tatum against Walker. He shoots it. A nice shot by Tatum. And the Celtics lead by 13. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. It's always nice to perform like this, especially in front of the faithful home crowd. Now here's Brown.
for the NBA. If you want to win big, if you want to win a title, you have to have a superstar and a great supporting cast. Both of these teams tonight, Kevin, they fit that bill. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. Inside form, it'll be Porter and Jokic. And it's Gordon in at the small forward. And Jokic throws it down. Jokic. Oh, Jokic attacking the rim and brings it down hard. And that one's good, Maxi. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Not loose. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Caldwell Pope. Maxi against Caldwell Pope. Here's Embiid. Pass to Covington. Back to Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. And he got a good look at the hands of Covington. Here's Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. Come on, oh, big finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim just for good measure. Wow. Maxi passes to Embiid. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. It's just so tough to knock him beat off the block. And that's his territory. Outside quarter. The train. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. He does that so well. At his size, he's always a threat to throw it down. Embiid dishes to Harris. Embiid sets the pick for Harris. Caldwell Pope against Maxi. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. And Murray, here we go. And Murray gets creative around the basket, that time dynamic off the bounce. The 76ers have gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. Here's Maxi. And slam dunk by Maxi. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Murray for three. Buries the long range jumper. Murray. Murray's got seven points in the game. Ooh, and I love that spread. That's Murray's bread and butter stretching out the defense. He was way behind the arc. Maxi looking it over. Here he goes. And slam dunk by Maxi. Now that's the way it's done. Take it up high and throw it down with everything you got. That's right. He was not going to take the soft approach on that drop. Well, not that wide open. You're given a juicy gift by the defense. You got to sink your teeth into it. And here's MB. After Jamal Murray was able to get that triple. And he gets the button. What a scary sight. Joel MB with all that momentum taking it to the hoop. Looking like a freight train. Now here's Murray. He's got 10. Jamal yep, Murray. that one goes in there. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Embiid against Jokic. Embiid kicks to Melton. Six on the shot clock. Back to Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. And seeing a guy as big as Embiid being so fluid in terms of his movement, jaw drop. Passes it to Porter. There's 49 seconds left in the first quarter. And then Gordon with the dunk. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding. Rising up off the ground. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a great cramp. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Jordan, he's checked in for Jokic. Zig Naji comes in for Porter. And it's Jackson in for Murray. And B, no good. He gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Najee passes to Caldwell Pope. 
launches it. Another three for Denver. You gotta stay connected to Caldwell Pope. He's a knockdown shooter and he can get it going. Maxi kicks to Embiid. Oh, and here we go with Gordon. Nobody back. And he Aaron slams Gordon. it down right on top of Joel Embiid. And that is a merciless dunk coming from Aaron Gordon. And the dunk by Covington. So far, both teams scorching the nets. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great. Scoring is coming in bunches. And both of the teams feeling confident right now. What a performance That's by Jamal Murray. Score. He has the been the score. story for Denver. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He and if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering to the long-range shot here early on. Love the passing that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement that's opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. On the floor for Denver as we get going here in the second quarter. We've got DeAndre Jordan. It's Najee in at the four shot. The Nuggets leading by four. Here's Najee. And he jams it with authority. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. And you hear it often, Brent, these Nuggets are a complete team. Well, you have a historic superstar in Jokic and this incredibly deep and talented supporting cast. You've got a great, experienced coaching staff. This team has everything you need to win at the highest level, and they're proving they can do that. We the league is now, Greg, on any given night, we sometimes see a team fall flat. Is it just luck of the draw? Sometimes players are tired, and sometimes they relax. You know, this is why leadership is so vital. Setting that standard for others to follow. Count it, and the Nugget lead has been cut down now to just three in the bucket from Bamba. Loving the toughness there from Bamba. Just needs to keep proving that he's not to be messed with. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Nice work to get it inside and draw contact. This is his first free throw of the game. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. DJ Wilson comes in for Bamba. And Smith subbed in for Kyle Lowry. And a switcher also for Denver. Michael Porter, he's checked in for Najee. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Jackson and the dunk by Jackson. Jackson. Just dicing through the lane there was Reggie Jackson. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Jordan. Here's Porter. He gets that one. Michael Porter. And it's Jr. a seven-point Denver lead. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Healed with the bucket. Here's Jackson. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Driving to the basket. Here's Brown. Covered by Heal. Brown, the pass to Jordan. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. For the Nuggets. Jokic, he's checked in for Jordan. Zeke Najee comes in for Porter. And it's Jamal Murray in for Reggie Jackson. They set the pick. Heald kicks to Wilson. Back to Heald. And they pick up two. Now just a three-point Nugget lead. Well, with a young perimeter player like Heald is, operating in the pick and roll with that kind of effectiveness, he can become dangerous. And it's Murray with the jam. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Throws down the breakaway jam. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. For three, Smith. The shot comes out. The Nuggets leading by seven. 
knocks it home with one hand. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Some changes here for the 76ers. Muhammad Bamba, he's checked in for Paul Reed. Harris comes in for DJ Wilson. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Smith. Heald from outside. Bangs home the trifecta. Heald's got seven points here in this quarter. Yeah, nice to see Buddy Heald. This is where he gets his bread and butter kind of plays, sinking the deep triple. With the crossover and the layup by Jackson. Reggie Jackson. And the Nuggets lead by eight. Just good, aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Bamba's shot is off. Well, he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Junior. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift-wrapping points. The Nuggets leading by 10. 51 seconds left in the first half. Caldwell Pope outside. Porter with the screen for Caldwell Pope. No good from outside. Philadelphia's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Outside Lowry. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia won't retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Here's Jackson. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, it's really one of the elements to Reggie Jackson, his aggressiveness in his play. It allows him to convert on plays like that. Here's what Philadelphia's going with right now. Embiid, he's checked in for Muhammad Bamba. Robert Covington comes in for Kelly Oubre. The Anthony Melton, he's checked in for Buddy Heal. And Maxi subbed in for Kyle Lauer. Jackson against Maxi to the inside. Short, sweet move, and it's Jordan with the jam. Now with KCP's improved scoring, defenders are taking note of him and leaving his teammates wide open. Outside Jackson, over Harris. To beat the quad. Count it. He caught it. You're How you do? Stay patient. Wait for the opportunity. All right, David. Thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. On the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. It's been one outstanding game from Jamal Murray. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And at the guard spots, Maxi and Melton. Embiid is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Oubre in at the three set. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Covington has that long arm athletic ability to get in there and mix it up. Covington against Murray. To the middle. Covington with the bucket. Covington's got four points in the quarter. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Now the pass to Embiid. Porter pulls it in. 
his touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Uh, we wasted absolutely no time getting the ball up the floor. Great instincts in transition. Here's Maxi. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, the league does not like it when trade requests play out publicly. Commissioner Adam Silver says it needs to be a two-way street. Teams provide enormous guarantees to players, and the expectation is they'll meet their end of the bargain. He understands there will always be some trade requests, but he wants them to remain behind closed doors. Kevin? Good luck. <laughs> David, thanks. Embiid finds Oubre. Embiid against Jordan. Embiid, the pass to Maxi. Shot clock at six. Back to Embiid. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. First wow, team Embiid pulls the defender in close the and then gets Joel all the contact he Joel wants. Well, a free throw drops for Embiid. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Reed is checked in for Robert Covington. Harris comes in for Oubre. On a heel, he's checked in for Milton. And Kyle Lowry set in for Maxi. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. It's a scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Muhammad Bamba, he's checked in for Philadelphia. It's easy to forget about Jackson's bunnies, but he's more than happy to remind you. Lowry kicks to Bamba. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Jackson. Now here's Watson, guarded by Harris. Watson's shot is off. The 76ers trail by 18. Stolen away. And now the Nuggets, fast break. Yes, that goes in. Brown's got his second basket of the game. Oh, that's great, D there. A little petty larceny as he just picks this pocket and takes it coast to coast for the finish. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Lowry drives in, and the shot goes in. So good at knifing his way inside. Lowry only needs just a sliver of daylight, and he's on the attack. Pass to Brown. Makes wow. no mistake on the slam dunk. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, he settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Jackson finds Jokic. Lots of room. Nicolau. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got three assists in the game. And Lowry has it in the corner. Driving inside. No good with the layup. Denver leading by 22. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Over Lowry. Here's Jokic. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Inside. And the dunk by Bamba. And how about the nine foot six standing reach Bamba has? I mean, it's unguardable this close. Dunks it with such ease. Now here's Jackson. With one on the clock. No good on the last second attempt there. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And it's the 76ers with the ball. So on the floor for Denver. 
Inside form, it'll be Porter and Jokic. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. And it's Gordon in at the three. Harris misses. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. And Jokic with the basket on the assist by Gordon. Good luck inside against Jokic, one of the most dominant players in the game right now. Covington finds Embiid and shot on the way. And the basket is good. Embiid's got 19 points. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. From deep, Jokic. They get it back. Here's Porter out to the right wing. Wide open look here for Murray. Drops in the tray. He's got 19. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Well, no question, Joel Embiid is page one on the scouting report. Maybe page two and three as well. He is a handful. A fantastic dunk, and he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. And again, Denver with the triple. This is one of those games where we're not seeing him slow down, so we're in for something real special from Jamal Murray. Harris, right side. And count it from 19 feet away. Harris has got his first two points. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Maxi passes for Embiid, and Embiid comes it down. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Murray, good, and the assist goes to Jokic. 26 points for Jamal Murray. You know when Murray is being aggressive is when he's in the frame of mind to go in, get contact, and do damage at the line. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor, not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Oh, good on the three. For Philadelphia, they've gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Well, not known for his passing, but Harris is uh, pretty prudent there with the ball. Not a lot of careless turnovers for him. And it's Murray penetrating. And it's Murray with the jam. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Caldwell Pope against Maxi. And that one is good. The Nuggets leading by 22. We've got 148 left in the fourth. For a three, Murray. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And Beach got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Maxi into the lane. Got it. And he's now 8 of 9 from the floor. Nice time from Embiid. The big man showing off his vision there. Philadelphia foul. And the 76ers making a change here. Heels checked in. First personal foul. First Denver's got a disappointing 2 of 6 on three point attempts here in the fourth. And Murray. Here we go. And it's good. Two points. Murray's got 30 points. And so it's going to end up in the record book as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Nuggets. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Jamal Murray. Just does a great job of looking for space and then Jamal finding Murray. it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. Excellent play. Just adding fuel to the fire and really trying to put this one out of reach. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. To the right side. Down to five on the shot clock. 
Off target with his three. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Embiid. Covington a screen on Jokic. Embiid against Jokic. Fires from 14. Jokic grabs the miss. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game.
more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league, and right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. And the Lakers starting five. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. Then there's Torian Prince. Then it's Rui Achimura. And it's Christie in at the one. And it's the Pacers with the ball. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Down low. And then Turner with the dunk. Proving as a passer. Siaki showing a willingness to get it to open teammates. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. Pacers ball. Halliburton against Prince. And the basket by Halliburton. A good work by Halliburton outthinking the defense and creating an opportunity for himself. It's Prince on the wing. The three. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. Here's Walker. And the jam by Walker. Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then he goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Hey, showing a good handle. An area where Hachimura continues to make strides. Here's Halliburton. Oh, the teardrop falls in. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Prince, a screen on Siaka, and slam dunk by James. With the elite handle, LeBron has defenders at his mercy. Smitty, part of what makes LeBron James so inspiring is how competitive he is still. B.A., I don't think he'll ever lose that fire in his eyes. But you're right, he's still hungry. Every game, even the little ones, LeBron wants to win just as bad as ever. Here's Christie. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Smart play by Prince. Attack the interior of this defense. Force them to close off the lane. Halliburton finds Siakam. And he drives in. Now here's Turner. Halliburton surveys the floor. Six to shoot. There's a screen. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Yeah, looking like a veteran running the screen and roll. Halliburton understands how to break down defenses. Here's James. And slam dunk by James. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. Halliburton, the pass to Siakam. Back to Halliburton. Jacks up a three. Rebound, the Lakers. Minutes Here's Prince. Two minutes. Prince, a screen on Turner. Launches it. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. A foul won't scare King James off. He gets assertive and takes the shot. LeBron James. Three shots. That one misses. And he nails the third. Now here's Halliburton. And there's a minute 45 left in the opening quarter. Walker. Not going to go that time. Excellent D there from Davis. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. Here's Hachimura. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Prince. Off on the timing, or it may have been a miscommunication. Either way, turnover. 124 left to play in the first quarter. Halliburton outside to the middle. And the jam by Walker. Nice slam by the big man, Walker. Making his presence felt there inside. Here's James. An easy two on the layup. James has got 10 points. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. 
Now here's Siakam. Yet to see a basket. And that'll be Indiana's ball as it goes out of bounds. Pacers able to keep the possession. He was all over that pass. That's a cautionary tale. A little bit late there, but you tried to get into your opponent's head. Forced them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. McConnell, he's checked in for Halliburton. Reeves is checked in for Los Angeles. Russell comes in for Christie. The Lakers in the lead. And the ball out of play. The Pacers will have it. This is what we talk about, valuing each possession, avoiding those kinds of mistakes. The Pacers have got six of ten attempts to fall. To the inside, Toppin. That one's good. On the assist from McConnell. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. To the left wing. Russell from outside. They get the rebound. On the wing, Reeves. Hachimura sets a screen. The shot by Reeves, no good. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Some great act. Action here early as we end the first quarter in a tie. Don't go away. We'll be back. Some good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. All right, let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Pacers so far, guys. Oh, what a first quarter. You love their willingness to make the extra pass. And that's really hard on a defense, having to play deeper into the clock and having to cover a lot more ground. So on the floor for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward and AD as the center. And it's Reddish in at the three. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. On the wing, Reeves shoots. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Here's McConnell. Oh, did you see that? Finish. And he jams it home with authority. VA, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. And there it is for him. Reeves. Reeves has got his second basket of the game. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Stolen by Russell. Now the Lakers moving it up. From outside the arc. Shot is good by Reeves. Reeves, Reeves has got seven. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. All right, Smitty, as a basketball fan, who are your favorite players to watch? Well, it's a long list, B.A. I love Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, Draymond Green and that crew. LeBron James, of course, and some of the younger guys, Anthony Edwards, and obviously the Joker. Nikola Jokic, and also Giannis, and the list goes on and on. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Reddish against Matherin. And again, it's Indiana with a three. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Reeves, the pass to Russell. Vanderbilt, a screen on McConnell. The three from Russell. Knocks down the long J. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> that one felt a little personal right there. Sometimes it's a matter of pride. Answering back with a three of his own. Jackson gets the bucket. One side of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. I think when his coach looks at Andrew Nimhart, he sees lots of potential there, Grant. Oh, yes, he does, B.A. And for a second-round pick in 2022, he's been a steal. A pure point with size at 6'5", that enables him to play at either guard spot. Just three to shoot. Here's Davis. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And the Lakers making a change here. Woods checked in. Christian Wood. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Matherin up top. Stolen by Russell. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. And a 
another three for the Lakers. And this is what point guards like Russell are responsible for, setting the table for his guys. Here's McConnell. Basket's good. McConnell's got his first points of the game. And boy, has this been a competitive matchup thus far. <laughs> These teams have swapped leads seven Two times already. We're not even in the second half. Minutes. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Indiana's a team on the rise. Coach Rick Carlisle said this is a new era of Pacers basketball, a direction of youth and of going all in on a group of guys that are young, talented, and extremely high character and tremendous upside. Brian, a lot to be excited about. No question. Absolutely. Thanks, Allie. Here's Nimhart. No points so far. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Where was the D there? No one was covering the open man. Out to Wood. Back to Russell. One fourteen left in the first half. And down it goes. Two points. Russell's got seven. Yeah, inside the paint, Russell stays so nimble, helping him get such a high percentage look. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Here's Reeves. Ten points for him. Back to Russell. There's the triple. And the Lakers hit again from deep. A volume three-point shooter. The coaching staff encourages Russell to fire away. Here's Nimhart, guarded by Wood. Takes a three. And again, it's Indiana with a three. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Reeves. Catch shots good. Russell making the play. He's got 13. One team gains momentum, then the other storms back. Hey, if this is any indication of how the game is going to go, we're in for a treat. Reddish against Matherin. Back to McConnell. I'm open right here. Jackson, the screen. A clear look from McConnell. It's good! It's good at the buzzer! Wow! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. But what I love, there was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Pacers out in front, leading by a point. And we'll step... And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Indiana leading. We've got Miles Turner, Pascal Siakam out there with Walker, then it's Halliburton, and it's Shepard in at the two. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Siakam against Wood. The drive by Siakam. And that one's good. And the Pacers lead by three. You got to be impressed by Siakam's athleticism. Cutting to the rim with such force. On the wing, Reeves. From behind the arc. The rebound by Turner. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Siakam, no good. Los Angeles has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line in this one. Out to James. LeBron fires one down. You want the highest percentage look? LeBron at the rim. That'll do it. And now they decide to foul intentionally. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Some changes now for the Lakers. Hachimura's checked in for Reddish. Prince comes in for Reeves. And Christie subbed in for Russell. And Siakam with the slam. And look at the vision from Halliburton. Love seeing ball movement like this. James with the ball. Halliburton picks him up. Prince, a screen on Halliburton. James passes to Christie. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. 
Prince against Halliburton. And they go to the intentional foul. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. First personal foul. Second team foul. Lakers substitution number three. Walker, a screen on Prince. Halliburton left side. Just five to shoot. And it's Shepard missing. The Lakers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Right wing. Hachimura against Halliburton. Shoots from the elbow. Again, the Lakers. These teams just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you wonder what it's going to take for someone to pull away. Prince against Halliburton. Here's Halliburton on the take. And the basket is good. Halliburton's got six. Yeah, slick drive by Halliburton. Cutting through the defense into a shot. Here's Christie, defended by Halliburton. Hachimura against Walker. Hachimura, the pass to Christie. Outside Davis. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Oh, and a fast break for the Pacers. Siakam against James. Two minutes remaining in the third. And there's a whistle. That goes on Pascal Siakam. That's his first foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. The Lakers trail. Now James. 12 points for him. There's the drive. And it's James with the jam. Still filling it up with ease. LeBron looks like he's riding a bicycle. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got four assists in the game. Prince finds Davis. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. With Anthony Davis, the question has never been about ability. It's about availability. You're so right, B.A. He's got all the talent in the world. We've seen him put together dominant stretches of play. But too often, it's interrupted by injury. Outside Walker. And it's out of bounds to Indiana. Indiana ball. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. They say it was last touched Still by Hachimura. And so it's Walker with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. Two-point game. Los Angeles foul. Louis Hachimura. First personal foul. Third team foul. Two. And he drops a first. And some changes here for the Lakers. Reddish is checked in for Achimura. Reeves comes in for Prince. And Russell is subbed in for Christie. The Lakers have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Out to the right wing. Let's it fly. The shot by Russell, no good. Indiana's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Halliburton outside. There's 49 seconds left in the third. Tyrese playing big in the painted area. He can move around with the big boys. Halliburton not giving in on the interior. Here's Reeves. He drops it from range. Reeves has got 16 points. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Halliburton against Russell. Down low. Here's Turner. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got a rebound number five here tonight. James with the ball. He's got 14. Oh, had a nice open look right there. Reeves has got 19 points. He's been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. We know why. Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. 
Back to the basics. Unleashing the one-hand flush. Boy, he makes the basics look pretty outstanding, though, huh? <laughs> that's true. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game. Both teams... And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. And so in the game for the Lakers, it's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo, and it's Reddish in at the small forward position. And <laughs> they have a never-give-up attitude. Well within striking range, now is when you have to lock in at both ends. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. The Pacers making a switch here. Jackson is checked in, and the Lakers also making a change. Vanderbilt's checked in. Here's Nimhart. Pass to Jackson. And here's Toppin. Clock at four. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Russell. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Here's Nimhart. That one's good. Three. On the assist from McConnell. Oh, this one has turned into an absolute nail-biter. Yeah, at this point, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. Russell to pass to Reddish. Back to Russell. Pass to Reeves. From 15 feet away. And Toppin pulls it down. Indiana's gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Nimhart softly drops in the floater. And now a three-point Indiana lead. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Russell to pass to Reeves. Pass to Vanderbilt. Back to Reeves. Over McConnell. The shot by Reeves, no good. The Pacers have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Matherin passes to Nimar. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, no, it just doesn't make sense, given the situation. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Christian Wood is checked in for Anthony Davis. Hachimura comes in for Reddish. Prince is checked in for Reeves. And Christie subbed in for Russell. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Vanderbilt, the pass to Christie. Not to Hachimura. Wood, a screen on Matherin. Pass to Wood from the arc. The Pacers pull it in. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Matherin with the ball. Guarded now by Wood. And so they foul intentionally. So Indiana going with an almost entire new group here. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Jackson. Siakam comes in for Toppin. Walker, he's checked in for Nimhart. And Halliburton is subbed in for McConnell. And the Lakers also making a switch. James is checked in for Vanderbilt. Davis, he's checked in for Wood. Halliburton finds Turner. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. To the wing, right side. And it's blocked by Davis. Anthony Davis has a gift, and timing is impeccable when blocking shots. Two on the clock. Here's Siakam. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And a foul on Tyrese Halliburton. That's his first foul of the game. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Pass to Achimura. To get back on track. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got three assists in the game. 
The pass from LeBron moves the ball so well. Prince against Turner. Uses the glass on the layup. And great to see Turner rising to the occasion and finding the clutch bucket. Here's James. Oh, LeBron got a step. Can't let him do that. When you need a big bucket, keep it in his hands. LeBron lives for this one. Outside Matherin. They set a pick. Count it! Oh, whoa, that is as clutch as it gets. Big time play. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Inside. Here's James. Yes! And that one brings him with it. And one. The defender is left helpless to stop that. LeBron with too many tools in the toolbox. And that killer instinct. Oh, Halliburton! Send it home! Important points. Tyrese Halliburton. Always ready to take the big one. It's Prince on the wing. Hachimura with a screen on Matherin. Hachimura against Siakam. He connects! Oh, what a sensational bucket! That brings him within one! Outside Matherin. Let's a three fly. Oh, nails the triple! Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time.
Kyler Murray and Caldwell Pope. Inside form, it'll be Porter and Jokic. And it's Gordon in at the three slot. And for Boston, the talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. Then it's Holiday, and there's Porzingis, and it's Brissett into the four slot. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. And so the Denver Nuggets get the first points in the ballgame. Outside Tatum. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. A three-pointer is right on target. How about that extended range from Tatum? And Jokic slings it in. And how about he takes on the defender head on and then throws down the two-hand guy. Straight power there. Straight power. The shot by Holiday, no good. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Nuggets. Here's Murray, and it's Murray with the jam. Murray And going vertical, Murray's one of those guys with that sneaky athleticism. RJ, when we talk about the Boston Celtics, they've transformed into a real heavyweight out east. Oh, they are a dominant team out east. One of the dominant teams in this league. Look, they have so much young talent and talent that they drafted and developed. This group, their only job is to contend for championships. And here is Murray following Porzingis' three. Quarter, no luck. the wing, Holiday. He's covered by Murray. And the shot goes in from Chris Depps, Porzingis. And bringing the aggression and the energy. Two things you like to see from Porzingis. Caldwell Pope outside. Fires for three. Good. And the assist goes to Murray. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Persingas with a screen on Gordon. Tatum passes to Persingas. Launches a three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. The real come at us. And we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple with us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And that's how you execute offensively. Murray with a great job of getting it to his teammate. Here's Holiday. Denver getting their last shot to go. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Murray. It gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. That's fine. You love the effort. Not making things easy for the opposition on offense. Reggie Jackson's checked in for Jamal Murray. Now here is Holiday. Three-pointer. Good on the three-point shot. A solid outside game. Holiday has good lift on his J. And at 6'4", he can get his shot out against just about anybody. Round against Jackson. Pass to Brissett. Two minutes running. Trying to find Porzingis. Two minutes. It to him. Outside Holiday, six to shoot, a three ball, and again, Boston with the triple. The reflexes on Porzingis can surprise you. For a big, he plays with great quickness. And Jokic slams it in. Oh, why dunk you very much. Yeah, he, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Now, here's Tatum. Shoots the three. Here's Brissett. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. Caldwell Pope kicks to Jokic. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Holiday surveying the floor. Tatum with a screen on Jackson. Here's Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. Keep getting it to this man. I mean, once Persingas catches fire, there is no putting that out. Gordon with no one around. From outside, off the mark. Yeah, that's a shame, because I'm not sure the defense will let him get a shot that good again very soon. Persingas sets the pick for Tatum. Takes the three. And it's Persingas that time on the assist by Holiday. Persingas has got 16. 
Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. Jackson against Howard. Porzingis with a screen on Jackson. Outside Holiday. It's hauled in by Gordon. Jackson from long range. Offensive rebound. Quarter outside. And he beats the buzzer. Wow! Yeah, that's just an amazing... A big-time effort for Porzingis, providing a lot of energy for Boston. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. Back right after this. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Celtics. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And also, guys, they're playing for one another right now. All those extra passes are leading to easy buckets. So on the floor for Denver, they've got Contavious Caldwell-Pope. He's out there with Jackson. Gordon out there with DeAndre Jordan. It's Najee in at the four spot. Here's White. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. White's got five points now this quarter. And great finishing last season with the number one seed in the Western Conference. A lot of people still slept on the Denver Nuggets. And Kevin, they've had great regular seasons before, only to fall short. But with a healthy Murray and Porter Jr., Jokic finally had the help to get it done. Tatum no good. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball. In the a different look for Denver. Watson is checked in for Aaron Gordon. Christian Brown comes in for Caldwell Pope. And Murray subbed in for Reggie Jackson. There's a screen. Brown the pass to Watson. Murray against White. Jacks up a three. Naji controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. He's so strong when he goes to work on the glass. One opening is all he'll need to finish the play, even if it's just a tip-in. Here's Walsh. No scoring in this one. Back to Porzingis. And the dunk by Porzingis. What a luxury to run pick and roll with Porzingis. He can roll to the basket or pop out for that jump shot. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. RJ, a guy who will completely take over a game. First, Jason Tatum. Yeah, he's got a deep bag. He's got an incredible talent, and every year he works to add to it. Two shots. The first one falls. Richard, how about this? A lot of guys you played with are still in the league today. Uh, does that affect your analysis of their play? Oh, 100%. Nothing about me is impartial. If I don't like somebody, I'll say it to them. And I'll say it on TV. No, I'm just kidding, Kevin. All kidding aside, I respect all of these guys, and I try and be as fair as possible. Jordan, the screen. Wide open look here for Murray. Good on the triple. Jamal Murray. Murray's got seven points, points in the game. You got to feel comfortable when Murray is working the pick and roll. His shooting, speed, and passing all are next level. And there's Horford. That's good on the assist by White. And the Celtics lead by three. Denver's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Porter in the corner. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Tatum passes to Walsh. Let's the free fly. Horford, no luck. And Murray's got the ball here for Denver. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And they can't be happy they fouled Murray there. He had to ball his lights out. At the line for the Nuggets. Oh, Richard, the Celtics, an excellent defensive team. Very disciplined. Yeah, you don't see them gamble for a lot of steals. They do a great job of just staying connected and challenging shots without foul. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for the Celtics. And then for Denver, Jokic comes in for Jordan. And it's Zignaji in for Porter. 
Murray looking around. Down low, Jokic kicks to Watson. And he hits it to tie the game up. Watson's got himself on the board with three there. And I feel like Jokic has 360-degree vision. I mean, no matter where the open man is, he's going to find it. Here's White, and the layup is good. White's got seven points for the quarter. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Here's White. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. For Denver, they've gone seven of nine, and their field goal attempts here in the second quarter. Pretty good offense. Here's Murray with the drive. Jamal and on Murray. the drive, Murray can seem unstoppable. His agility cuts the defense apart there. And White kicks to Tatum. I see him. And it's blocked. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. For three, Murray tips it up. Boston's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. The pass to Cornette. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, it's an evolving portion of Tatum's game, which is scary that he's still evolving, but it's becoming a staple. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Celtics lead by two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. And it's been a clinic out there by Kristaps Porzingis. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside? Or did Coach have some new ideas for that? They've got Jalen Brown. Holiday out there with Porzingis. And it's Springer in at the shooting guard position. That's the Boston Five. Second, yeah, much improved foul shooter. KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. And he's good on the second. Three shots. And he makes all three. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Holiday, the pass to Persingas. It doesn't go for him. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Jackson, and the shot goes in. Reggie Jackson. And the Nuggets lead by one. And good to see Jackson finish closer in. Not a guard who just chucks up threes can find the creases with that handle. Brown outside. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Surely one of the top players in the NBA. But Jalen Brown has many other interests outside of basketball. Yeah, he likes to keep those brain muscles just as in shape as he is. He spends a lot of time playing piano, chess, doing yoga, and reading to keep himself sharp. Singas passes to Brissett. Here's Springer. Brown feeling it out a bit. Lock at six. Boston again missing. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Holiday against Jackson. There's the triple. And Drew Holiday with the three. Holiday's got six points. You want to be an NBA point? Take notes on Holiday running that pick and roll. Sometimes taking it yourself is the best option. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. It's his first trip to the line. 
and not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Springer. Hopping on the board. Passes it to Brissett. Outside Holiday. There's the pick. To the inside. And down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. A, a shifty player who really thrives on making the right play. Holiday sure runs a smooth pick and roll. Oh, and he, he went for the two-hander on the slam. You can see some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Persingas with a screen on Jackson. That's to Persingas. And there's the call on DeAndre Jordan. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Substitution on the court. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Round against Gordon. Screened by Porzingis. Four on the clock. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Pass to Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. That's the efficiency you want to see from Jackson. Using his poise and vision to make a play. Holiday against Jackson. And Holiday kicks to Porzingis. Two minutes remaining in the third. Outside Holiday. And Holiday throws it down. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Al Horford is checked in for the Celtics. Derek White comes in for Drew Holiday. And Denver with a change here, too. Jokic is checked in. The Celtics have gone an even 50% for the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Here's the screen. Inside. A shot's good from Brissette. Brissette's got four points in the quarter. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. There's the three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. It works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job in waiting through the screen. A constant threat around the rim. Gordon is an agile big who just throws it down with ease. White looking around. Horford up top. The dish to Brown. And Brown pulls it down. For Denver, they've gone 5 of 7 from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Jackson, that's good. And Jackson has become a reliable three-point shooter. That's a shot you got to respect. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. And watch out. You don't bring the whole basket down on top of you, young fella. I don't think he ever wanted to let go of the rim. The kick out to Brown. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. At the top of the key, Horford. Let's it go from deep. The shot off that time. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game so far. Nuggets on top, leading by a point. And when we return... And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the mic. He'll be proud of that one. Bigs love when their passing skills are noticed. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And Denver will start the fourth quarter with. Inside form, it'll be Porter and Jokic. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. And it's 
Gordon in at the three spot. And we have an intentional foul there, GA. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Reggie Jackson's checked in for Denver. And Holiday kicks to Horford. Here's White. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. And a elite distributor for a pick man. Horford is the kind of guy you want to play basketball with. Porter and that one's good by Porter. Right. Where is the effort defensively? You have got to put up a better fight. Yeah, these teams have kind of decided to fight this battle uh, on scoring alone. There's not that much intensity on defense. White, wide open. He fires. And there are the Celtics with another basket. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. He is so quick off the ground. Porter just gives the defense very little time to react. White the pass to Holiday. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That is his first foul of the game. First, so both teams changing it up here. Second team foul. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Porzingis sets the pick for White. Down low. And the dunk by Porzingis. The uh, textbook positioning there for Porzingis. Once he's established it, he's going to have the advantage and able to finish that one above the rim. Jokic with the screen on Holiday. Murray for three. And again, Denver with the triple. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Murray against Holiday. From deep. It's hold in by Jokic. The Nuggets leading by four. Murray finds Caldwell Pope. Jokic with his screen on Holiday. Murray for three. Up and no good. There's his field goal percentage down to 70% in 10 shots. Over in the corner, Brown. Here's Tatum. Tatum cleared for takeoff. Oh, this is how aggressive Tatum is. Excellent job of getting to the rim and a finish. Just light work. There's Porter with the three. At basket number six to a statue. He's now six for ten. Uh, and it's clear Porter is a gutsy guy. Someone who enjoys taking and making huge shots for his team. Over in the corner, Brown. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Two minutes. For three. And again, Denver with the triple. The defenses beware. You have to close out hard on KCP and, and disrupt his rip. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. Porzingis kicks to Tatum. Beyond the arc. Ah, there's Tatum's range on display. It is the sheer confidence of Tatum, ready to put his team on his back. Jokic with a screen on Holiday. Murray, no good. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. And here's Tatum for three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Questionable shot selection in that three. Not really helping as they try and narrow the deficit. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. Hits the three-point bomb. And now, just a two-point nugget lead. Murray, the pass to Caldwell Pope. He'll get your screen. Caldwell Pope kicks to Jokic. And the 7 3 reach of Porzingis being put to great use there. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you, you. The coach's challenge has been issued. This game like this, out of the wire, this is what it's for. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, three shots. Really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able to. A challenge like this is something a lot of people have been. 
The rookie on the floor is confirmed. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. You're double checking, and the game continues on. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Porter. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thanks, guys. Listen in to what Joe Mazzulla told his team. Now, they preached the little things in the huddle. They asked their team to battle on those 50-50 balls. One extra possession could be all the difference. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And I don't need to tell you guys, those free throws are big. Two-possession game now. Persingas with a screen on court. Tatum's shot is off. Good job by the D to stay with him and make that a tough three. High, arcing shot, and the layup is up and in. And the Nuggets lead by seven. They're relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throw now. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The three from Tatum. Count it! And now they trail by just four. The guy you want taking this shot. Tatum gets fired up and delivers. Murray with it.
Senators will be going at it. Feels like we may be going back the first 65 or 70 years of the NBA, B.A. I mean, we've become a three-ball dominant league in terms of style of play. Tonight, you'll see what basketball used to be, a game dominated by the centers. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. Then it's Rui Achimura. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Christie in at the one. Melton against Russell. James outside. And the layup is good. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy duck. Now the 76ers with it. To the paint. Here's Melton. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. That's pretty much any coach. That's how he'd like to start the game. Well, Clark, it's nice to have a guard like the Anthony Melton who takes care of business on both sides of the ball. Yeah, I love that about him. Oh. Old school two-way guard, B.A. Because he can make shots, he can make plays, but he also can defend. And he does it all with the level of professionalism and focus that you like to see. Yeah, that one's good. Boy, I like it. Quick, aggressive move by Maxi. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Hachimura outside. Again, the Ooh, Lakers. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Now here's Maxi. Here's Melton. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Willing to sacrifice himself for the play. Melton took that foul. The free throw drops for Melton. Well, as we've seen throughout the history of the Lakers, Clark, it's a big free agent and trade destination. Well, I think part of it is the weather attraction. I mean, guys love playing where the weather is always nice. Not to mention to be with the team whose goal is to win championships. His overall size and strength really sets James apart from the rest of his peers when you think about his skill set inside. And Clark, what's most amazing about LeBron James, how remarkable he is playing at his age. B.A., there's a lot of things that are really incredible about LeBron, but that's one of the most incredible. His high level of play at his advanced age. And he's still playing with great athleticism. The credit to the work he's put in and his giftedness. Here's Russell following the score by Philadelphia. Pass to Christie. James, a screen on Maxi. Fires the three. Nice shot by Christie. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Maxi surveys. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. And finished off by Davis. I don't know what to do about that. Davis just powering it down. To the wing on the left. Covington, screen on Davis. Embiid. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. Six-point lead. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. Now here's Russell. There's the three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Boy, you look at D'Angelo Russell, he's got a sweet stroke. The lefty can knock it down from three, but always seems to be playing at his pace under good control. He's taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Oh, stolen by Harris. Fast break, Philadelphia. Heads up play by Harris there. Good move getting the ball and sending it up court. For Los Angeles, they've gone a perfect seven for seven. James attacking, and it's James with the jam. And defensively, you have to make him work harder than this, or it's going to be a long night. You really don't want to allow him to get too comfortable, but even with stifling defense, he's going to still find a way to get it in the basket. Tremendous effort. Defends the shot and gets in perfect position for the rebound. 
Russell from outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Three points. Russell's got eight. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. And you know, when you've got a chance to put a team away early, you got to take it. And Philadelphia calls time here. And it's a completely new group for the 76ers. And the Lakers also making a change. Prince has checked in for Achimura. And it's the Sixers for the ball. It's a 10-point game. Here's Lowry. He gets it in there. Incredible control there from Lowry. Superb at keeping his composure even when things get physical. James against Batum. with the slam. Man, I like seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. Pass to Batum. Fires from deep. Goes back up. Here's Bamba. Out to heel. Beyond the arc. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. The three from Prince. And another three for the Lakers. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for them later on. Out to heel. Puts up a three. Another three for Philadelphia. Leave it to heel to respond. A consistent three-point snipe. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. Back to the game after this break. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. I would like to highlight two guys the it's excellent passing two. they've done early on. I mean, they've done a really good job putting the ball into the hands of guys ready to shoot it. And so in the game for the Lakers, it's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. Austin Reeves out there with Cam Reddish. And it's Prince in at the three slot. And the Lakers have possession. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Prince finds Reddish. Here's Reeves. And the three-pointer goes. Reeves. Reeves has got five points now this quarter. And, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Playing way bigger than his six-foot height. Lowry scores it inside. He just plays with so much heart. Spins. Here's James. James finds a runway and gets airborne. And one move ahead of the defense, a solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. Oh, huge slam by LeBron. You know, it's really hard for me to say if there's ever been anyone better at finishing through contact than LeBron. He's just so big and strong and fast, too. Philadelphia calls timeout. First and the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. The 76ers making a switch here. Covington's checked in. Outside Reddish, pass to Reeves. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now, three for three. And Clark, it's safe to say that there's more talent in the NBA today than ever before. I don't think there's any question about that, B.A. There are more outstanding players across the country and around the world than at any time, I think, in the history of the game. In part because of the information age we live in, players from around the world 
can see examples of excellence from whatever part of the world they happen to be from. And that is huge in inspiring young players to dream and realize their dreams of being NBA players if they have the ability and the work ethic to do so. Here's Reeves. And another three for the Lakers. Oh, man, check out the handle. I didn't know he had that in this game. Payne against Reddish. Payne, pass to Oubre. And it's going to be a three-second call. Three second That's ball. a costly error. Lakers Let's ball. see how they bounce back. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. Outside Reddish. Pass to Reeves. Out left to the wing. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Bamba. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Screen by Bamba. Payne, the pass to Bamba. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Held ball violation. That'll be a jump ball. Pass to heel. And so the ball out of bounds. Heel touched it last. Well, that's a moment he'd like to archive. Embarrassing lapse of judgment there. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's Reeves. 143 left in the first half. Wood with the screen. He shoots. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Yeah, you have to knock those down. Open shots inside the arc are rare in this league. And it's healed, missing. Los Angeles has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Here's Prince. Pass to Reeves. Down low. And Wood with the stuff. That's an example of a guy who has really figured out his game. Wood imposing his will at the rim. Payne, pass to Bamba. Reddish against Payne. And he banks in the layup. Payne's got his first points in this one. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. On the wing, Reeves. Let's it go from the baseline and nails him. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten him into the hole. Two points. That one goes. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Pass to Reeves. Wood, a screen on Oubre. Here's Reeves. Got it. Reeves has got 15 points and give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Los Angeles has got six of seven threes to fall. They're looking solid out there. Here's Reddish, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two, and it's gonna go on Cameron Payne. Yeah, and you never wanna let shots at the rim go uncontested. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Melton played it in with a nice touch off the window. Melton's gotten his second bucket. Well, Maxi continues improving as a facilitator, finding these opportunities to get the ball moving. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. And the Lakers have possession. 
Melton the two with Harris at the three. Robert Covington is out there with Joel Embiid. And it's Maxi in at the point guard position. And that's the group for Nick Nurse getting going here in the second half. Clock at six. Hachimura outside. Releases. Cash money on the open jump shot. A smart decision maker with a versatile skill set. Hachimura always takes the shots that he's comfortable with. And then Embiid with the dunk. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. And one more imposing guys at the center position. Joel Embiid. As unique a player as we've got in the league in terms of his size. Just mammoth. And his agility and skill level. So special for a guy of his size. His production is absolutely crazy. Perennial MVP candidate now and perhaps for several years to come. For three, Maxi Wood grabs the board. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. It's a three-pointer. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. For three, Maxi Wood grabs the board. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for the Lakers. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. Wood outside. Here's Christie. Pass to Achimura. The three ball. And another three for the Lakers. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and haven't slowed down yet. Doing what he can to help shrink the deficit, but it has to be a team effort. The Lakers have gone 4-4 four four in this third quarter. Perfect so far. There's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's his first foul. LeBron, he's checked in for the Lakers. Lakers substitution, number 23. LeBron. Here's Christie. Outside Russell. Fires from deep. Knocks it down from distance. Russell's got 11 points. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and polish. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. Back to Embiid. Wood grabs the board. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Two minutes remaining in the quarter. Has to Achimura. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. But weird plays happen. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Oh, and, they, and Coach doesn't like the call at all. He's opting to use his challenge. He wants the officials to look at the replay. People were worried that this would slow the action down. But with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was... The previous play is under review. One thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he still peed. Reed's checked in for Bamba. The first one falls. Vanderbilt's checked in for James. Both good from the line that time. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Brian, some teams are hoping that the league will implement what they call an upper spending limit and others might call a hard cap. Small market teams being dramatically outspent by their deeper pocketed big town rivals. And while this may remedy that, it's not a move that the players are likely to embrace. So Brian, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we will indeed. That second apron might have the same effect. Allie, thanks. 
Here's Covington. And the jam by Covington. Good decision making by Hill. Giving it up when somebody else was freer and in better position. From deep. And Russell with the three. Russell's got eight points in the quarter. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. You know, you kind of expect the big threes like that from Lowry. Russell, cool, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's six for six. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. The three from Russell. It's hauled in by Oubre. Philadelphia's got two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Lowry against Russell. Pass to Oubre. Shot clock at six. Oh, from deep. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. Substitution on the court. Eight seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Russell. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his first. That one on heel. Despite the wiry frame, taking it up strong inside, and D'Angelo will get free throws. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Reed. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Your 76. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Well, the 76ers shooting an unreal 69%. Really special stuff here. On the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. We've got Jared Vanderbilt. Also, Christian Wood out there. Rui Hachimura is out there with Austin Reeves. And it's Christie in at the one. And let's face it, they won't get back in the game with fouls like that. Look to me like just a frustration foul. Really kind of sums up the game they're having in general. Reeves, the pass to Christie. Now Wood. Here's Christie. Unloads. He squares up and sinks it. Here's Martin. And he converts the layup. That's exactly what you work for. A high percentage look. Here's Christy. Maxi covering. Wood, a screen on Maxi. Christy passes to Achimura. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Wood. Over Embiid. And it's blocked by Embiid. The defensive instincts of Embiid on display there with the deny. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Violation. Sixers ball. Maxi with it. Let's go with a three. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. When Maxi is clicking on all cylinders, he is a tough guy to slow down. Here's Reeves. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so it's Embiid who brings up the ball for the 76ers. Trailing by 19. And Embiid throws it down. Embiid will eat you alive on the offensive board. Got to box that guy out. Christie passes to Achimura. Vanderbilt, a screen on Harris. Nice move. Left side, Vanderbilt. Just five on the clock. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Pulls it from the corner. That one's good from Achimura. On the assist by Wood. And the Lakers lead by 19. 
Here's Maxi. He takes it in. And he goes in for the dunk. Check out Maxi with the throwdown. Boy, he can get off the ground quick. For Los Angeles, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. And there's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's his third foul so far. Oubre, he's checked in for the Sixers. Prince is checked in for the Lakers. Then when he comes in for Christie. Prince, a screen on Maxi. Pass to Prince. The three. Joel Embiid with the board. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Oubre on the wing. And the layup is good off the glass. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball movement. Here's Prince. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Back to Reeves. Wood, a screen on Oubre. Here's Reeves. Three-pointer, no good. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Martin with a screen on Prince. Wood, high post. Him beats there. Here's Reeves. Pass to Vanderbilt. Back to Reeves. Vanderbilt, a screen on Maxi. Here's Reeves. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Boy, they certainly had their way with the opponent at both ends. A really solid night here for the Lakers. Well, they were focused on being productive at the arc tonight. And it ended up paying off big time. Just an overwhelming performance. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for D'Angelo Russell. Boy, this game really had his name all over it. I mean, he relished being the guy to carry the load offensively. And the 76ers making a change here. Heald's checked in. Vanderbilt, a screen on Maxi. Russell finds Dinwiddie. Outside for Russell. Back to Dinwiddie. The three. That shot's good. Answer Russell Dinwiddie. making the play. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they shown this kind of fight earlier. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. Dinwiddie against Maxi takes the three and another three for the Lakers. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home is filled with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. Up top, Dinwiddie. Maxi covering. Dinwiddie passes to Vanderbilt. Russell up top. And the Lakers tack on two more. Man, what a nice read, boy. Exquisite, perfect timing by D'Angelo off the pick and roll.
Yeah, I mean, but that'll also make this a serious test for them. It'll be hard for them to outrun each other all night long. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. And there's Porzingis, then it's Holiday, and it's Brissett into the four. And finish off by Walker. From when Jairus Walker stuffs it, we feel those pucks over here. Outside Holiday. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Siakam inside, guarded by Tatum. Uh, six foot nine with excellent elevation. No trouble at the cup for Siakam. Outside Holiday gets it to go from beyond the arc. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Greg, in terms of the Pacers' last few seasons, some have pointed to their relative lack of size. What do you think? Well, I think a big push for them this summer was adding to their front court, particularly getting more size at the forward positions. And I think they've been true in that regard. Now, Jason Tatum has become an extraordinary passer. This guy knows the attention he draws, just gets his teammates involved. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Now, here is Halliburton. Off target from outside. Tough to hit that shot when the D is all over you like that. Berzingis kicks to Tatum. From past the arc. Kept alive by Boston. Shot clock at six. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And the dunk by Porzingis. Well, as the role man of the pick and roll game, Porzingis at his size can make a career out of this play. Great contest by the defender. But that's a dunk you've got to put down in his face. Here's the oh. This guy, one of the most elite athletes in the game, Jalen Brown, finishes beautifully. Halliburton against Holland to stop the run, and Halliburton slams it in. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Here's Tatum. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Nice move. And the dunk by Tatum. You see the level of verticality that Jason Tatum brings to the table. Oh, nice. The shot by Turner, no good. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Brissett passes to Brown. And finished off by Brown. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Outside Turner. Pass to Siakam. Releases. It's good for a second make. He's made two or three so far. Now this is such a critical component to Siakam's game. The face-up ability nicely done on the jump shot. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. 136 left in the first quarter. Five on the clock. Outside, Porzingis. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Well, the rise and fire in the in-between game. Kristaps Porzingis, very solid. And it's Halliburton penetrating. And the dunk by Walker. Walker. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. And slams up by Tatum. Well, just the power and authority sends a powerful message to the defense. Go to work, Jason Tatum. Halliburton passes to Turner, and Turner throws it down. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that Jason possession, Tatum. one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. And here's Halliburton after Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. Siakam. Halliburton's position and then the ability to thread the needle there makes the defense pay. 
Halliburton against Holland. Brown outside. To the left side wing. Porzingis, that's a two. The rebound by Turner. To the middle. And Siakam gets it to go on the assist by Halliburton. Eight points for Siakam. The kick out to Tatum. Off target from three-point range. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. Celtics lead by six. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Boston. These guys have been so quick off the dribble, finding great lanes to attack. And getting themselves to the basket. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. Well, as we've talked about Boston's young talent for so long, they've now become battle-tested veterans. And it's incredible how young that that experience has taken hold. They have had players build big roles in so many big games. What a strong foundation, and now you've just got to keep building. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. The guard pair. It's white and brown. Then there's Jason Tatum. And there's Porzingis. And it's Walsh in at the four. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Knocks down the three ball. Brown. Brown's got three. seven. You can see the work Jalen Brown has put in to become a range shooter. Nice. And then Toppin with the jam. My goodness, Toppin puts on a show. What a special dunker this guy is. Brzingis feeling it out a bit. Brzingis with a screen on Toppin. Going inside. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. An incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. And the dunk by Jackson. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. We can eat, elevate. And the Celtics making a change here. Springer's checked in. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue, they, they change teams, suddenly taking the next step. Why can't he that leap? Kevin, it's not this is all just opportunity and fit. I think there can be a mental component as well. Uh, a fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try new things. Al Horford, he's checked in for Boston. Good on the second free throw. It wasn't the best of seasons, Doris, for the Indiana Pacers last year. But there are reasons for optimism. Kevin, they've got a talented young core that appear to really enjoy playing with one another. It was a selfless group that looked fun to coach, and I believe the franchise headed in the right direction. Outside Matherin, 18 feet out, and the Pacers tag on two more. Matherin showing his willingness to be ready on the catch. Go ahead. Outside, Horford. The three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point button. And he'll go to the line to shoot three. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. Guys, I know we've discussed this many times, but I don't think statistics really reflect Al Horford's true value. This guy is a terrific player and a pro's pro. And he can't make it three for three. 
Here's McConnell. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam. You can see some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Horford sets a screen for White. That one falls. Derek White. White's got his first bucket in this one. Soft touch by Derek White. The floater, not an easy shot, but he puts that one on target. Pass to Brown. He's looking for Horford and finds him. Here's Walsh, top and covering. Walsh can't get it to go. Pacers trail by five. Jackson in the corner. And Boston with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. First personal foul. First team foul. A minute 42 left here in the second. McConnell against White, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line for Indiana, TJ McConnell. That's good for McConnell. Brissett has checked in for the Celtics. Holiday comes in for White. And both free throws, good for McConnell. Poked loose. Celtics leading by three. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Brown right side. Feeds it to Horford. And the layup's good off the glass. Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown. Probably one of his most improved areas. McConnell against Holiday. And he drives in. They get the rebound. 102 left in the second quarter. Indiana again missing. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Boston. Leading by five. Brown, no good. Pacers have gone six of ten from the floor here in the second quarter. And finished off by Siakam. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Now here is Holiday. It's good from long range. Drew Holiday. Holiday's got six points. A solid outside game. Holiday has good lift on his J. And at 6'4, he can get his shot off against just about anybody. The shot and game clock separated by four. And the dunk by Horford. The assist. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stuff. Let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Horford against Turner. Walker is screen on Horford. The shot by Turner, no good. It'll count. No good that time. And so it's the Boston Celtics holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. And they thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Pascal Siakam, guys, really making a difference here. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Siakam is out there with Walker. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And there's Miles Turner. And it's Shepard in at the shooting guard. So that's who Rick Carlisle starts the second half. Holiday against Halliburton. Bounce pass, Holiday. Brissett's shot is good. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. 
The three from Tatum. Ha! Ah, Tatum an assassin. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Pass to Springer. Tatum gets it inside. Jason Tatum is a thirsty scorer, and right now filling it up. Halliburton against Holland. To the paint, here's Turner, and Turner throws it down. And they're cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. Now the pass to Holiday. Fires the three. And the Celtics another three. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Floats it up for Walker. The intellect and skill that Halliburton brings to the game. Such a high-level passer. Celtics leading by 12. There's the screen. Holiday, the pass to Brissette. Tatum looking around. Shoots over Walker. Siakam pulls it in. The Pacers have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Halliburton with it. Now guarded by Tatum. Siakam, right side. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. Boy, what a clever decision there by Pascal Siakam. Sticks with the shot and wins a trip to the free throw line. The Celtics making a switch here. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Double team on Holiday. Out to the wing. Walsh. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Three points. Walsh has got eight points. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. In Thanks very much, ball. Kevin. Now, among the changes this year first is the NBA ball. is granting first coaches a second challenge if their first one is successful. Now, coaches had been hesitant to use their one challenge earlier in games, even when balls seem pretty clearly to have been missed. The downside to a second challenge, more stoppages, but the league may look at other measures to help keep the game moving. Kevin Zingas. Yeah, I like that, D. A lot of things to consider. Thanks. When Porzingis is knocking down that three-point shot consistently, it opens up other aspects of his game. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. And Doris, you watch the defenses try to corral Benedict Matherin. He always seems to have an answer, doesn't he? He does, Kevin. This guy knocks down jumpers in a variety of ways, whether it's off the bounce, catch and shoot situations. His mechanics are clean, he's confident, and boy, he is aggressive. McConnell kicks to Toppin. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Celtics leading by 13, and the foul on Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin. That is his first foul first of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. One fifteen left to play here in the third. Tatum what? Wide open, he fires one. And the Celtics hit again from deep. We know this is an offensive-minded player. Jason Tatum loves running pick-and-roll action. Nemard's shot is good. Nemard's got six. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Pacers trail by 13. There's 42 seconds left in the third. Toppin can't get it to go. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. The Celtics have made three of five free throw attempts. Third team foul. No good on that one. White, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. Two shots. And he sinks the second. 
We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Toppin, and Toppin throws it down. Boy, the explosiveness of Obi Toppin can really shock the defense. This guy gets excellent airspace. Tatum against Matherin. Tatum passes to Walsh. Out to Porzingis. Four on the shot clock. Gets the jumper from a quarter to fall. He's got 11. Well, that's somebody who sees the whole floor and delivers it to the perfect wide-open shooter. Here's Matherin. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Boy, as good as he is on the offensive end, Jason Tatum showing he can be a factor defensively. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. It's the Celtics. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. So we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. They've got Porzingis. Jason Tatum is out there with Derek White. And it's Springer in at the shooting guard position. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Trailing by 17. And for the Celtics, their shooting has been just uncontainable. 72%. White dishes to Tatum. Back to White. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists now in this one. Well, the whole vibe is an unselfish nature with this team, and Jason Tatum being a part of that pretty pass. Halliburton for three, trains the three-pointer. How can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Fires the three, drills the three-pointer. Chris Hatch got six points in the quarter. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. Check it out, man. Check it out. White against Halliburton. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Boston leading by 19. And the foul on Jarris Walker. Walker. That'll be his second, second foul of the foul. game. Second team foul. Checking in for the Celtics. Number 27. Jordan Walsh. Present. It's rebounded by Indiana. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Well, missed opportunities, and they can certainly add up. You cannot afford to take that kind of shot. Drives to the hoop, and it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Here's Siakam. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. Well, this is part of Pascal Siakam's growth, the willingness to absorb nightly responsibility to score the ball. Halliburton for three. White with the defensive effort. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? Here's Walsh. Basket counts. And the Celtics lead by 17. For Indiana, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Halliburton kicks to Turner. And the foul Indiana called on foul. Pascal Siakam. Pascal Siakam. That's his first, first foul. foul. And the next one puts Third him in the bonus. Foul. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. White against Halliburton. Brissett. Here's Springer. And there are the Celtics Jesus with another basket. Pacers trail by 19. Here, Shepard passes it to Siakam. Fires from deep. On the wing, Walker. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Goes back up. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Porzingis has got four rebounds in this game. 
here's Brissett, guarded by Walker. To the inside. White looking around. Just five on the clock. Turner with the steal. Pulls up. Offensive rebound. Over to the left wing. Here's Shepard. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Celtics leading by 19. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Celtics. We got to see a display of offensive prowess in this one that got it done. High scoring game. Bucket after bucket. They were really in attack mode all game long. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Jason Tatum. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. The Celtics making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. It's White on the wing. He's covered by Halliburton. Six to shoot. Porzingis with a screen on Walker. The crossover. Over to the wing. The tray. Drills it from outside. Sam Hauser. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. Walsh can't get it to go. And here are the Pacers now. Halliburton finds Turner. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. Okay, Miles Turner going to the mid-range. Money in the bank for that guy. Springer, the pass to White.
Well, for the over 60 crowd, this is a fun one, B.A. It's not often that we highlight the center position as being the key matchup, but the big men on these teams, they deserve attention. It's going to be great watching them tonight. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia Whoa. 76ers. Maxi runs point with Melton at the two. Robert Covington is out there with Kelly Oubre. And it's Embiid in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Murray. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Sends it home from three-point land. And he can stretch the range a little bit beyond the arc if he wants to. Jokic, dangerous out there. They set the pick. For three, Maxi. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Embiid with a steal. 18 feet out. And again, it's Philadelphia. Now, Oubre will draw some attention as a scorer, but that's going to open up some passing lanes. And he doesn't make a mistake that time. Three-pointer. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. And Grant, last season, Nikola Jokic came close to winning his third straight MVP. But in the end, he won something more precious, an NBA title. And that finals MVP award more meaningful, both personally and in terms of his legacy, being a winner is what matters in the end. Such an outstanding effort there for the big man to stay focused with his shot. Jokic, tremendous concentration. Here's Maxi. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Maxi's got five now. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Caldwell Pope. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Five points in the game. Well, Caldwell Pope at the ready. He was totally prepared to take that one. Screen by Embiid to the middle. And then Embiid with the dunk. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Now here's Porter. There's the triple. The rebound by Maxi. Gordon against Oubre. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Oubre just being aggressive, and that's going to pay off on some free throw shooting attempts here. And that one falls for Oubre. And you think about beautiful basketball, Brent. Look no further than these Denver Nuggets. No doubt about it, B.A. It's like a symphony out there with this ball club. Just the ball movement, the player movement, the guy's willingness to sacrifice the first shot to get the better shot. And Jokic is the conductor. Jordan's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Jordan, the screen. Murray from outside, and he's in the books. Now one for two. <laughs> and hey, I mean, Murray will take the corner three when it's given to him. You gotta chase him off this line. Here's Maxi with the drive. Bamba inside. Time out, time Jordan's out. there, and Philadelphia calls time here. A different look for Denver. Najee comes in for Michael Porter, and it's Jackson in for Murray. Martin, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Payne comes in for Maxi. Martin with a screen on Jackson. Five to shoot. Inside. Oh, he picked him clean. It's a one on one situation. Beyond the arc. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. Jackson showing off a little bit of his range that time, so confident in that release. Martin outside. Melton on the wing. From downtown. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. Three-point lead. They get it back. And here's Gordon from the arc. Oh, clanks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. Philadelphia has gone 1 for 3 from beyond the arc. Well, Oubre, the closer he gets, the more excitable he can be. What a finish. 
Jackson down low. Defended by Payne. Gordon outside. And rejected. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Martin. With nobody on him, he buries that jumper. These teams just feeling each other out. Yeah, I love the spirit out there. Already six lead exchanges. Jackson against Payne. Jordan, the screen. The three. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Caldwell Pope's got eight points. Well, not a volume shooter, but the three-point percentages from KCP, they're solid. Had it fallen, but it is offline. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. The Nuggets on. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Denver. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. Love the passing that they've displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement. Opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. Nikola Jokic is out there with Zeke Nagy. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then there's Christian Brown. And it's Watson in at small forward. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Here's Reed. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Reed's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Brown passes to Jokic. Shoots over Embiid. And another basket for Denver. And Jokic is a very efficient mid-range shooter. We'll take advantage of you there. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's on Nikola Jokic. Batum's checked in for Reed. The free throw drops for Embiid. And there's so much on-court communication. Brent, what types of things are being called out by players? Well, on defense, B.A. is pretty much everything. You're trying to read the opposing team's coach, try to hear the call of the play coming, try to yell out to your teammates so predictably they know what movements are happening. And then within engagement of that play, you're calling your switches, you're calling where your help is. And that should happen 75 times a night. So by the end of the night, the, the team that communicates the most usually ends up winning the game. Here's Brown. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Brown's got his second basket. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Lowry finds Batum. Harris on the wing. Fires from the line. And the jumper falls for him. So this is a, a strength of Tobias Harris finding... Good rhythm now in the mid-range shot. Jackson, pass to Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. Big time, two-hand slam. And right on top of the defender, too. That's got to feel good. Here's Lowry. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Kyle Lowry not backing down, and he's making some tough ones. Pass to Brown. To the inside. Naji. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. His hang time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. Now here's Lowry. Harris is green. To the right side. Just five on the clock. Here's Embiid. Embiid elevates. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, that's good signs. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Here's Lowry. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Lowry showcasing his ability to do damage on the inside. Pass to Brown. A minute 50 left in the second quarter. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. 
Well, that's some veteran savvy from Lowry. Just floor awareness and finds the open teammate. Here's Watson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal That one on Harris. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. For the Nuggets, Jordan's checked in for Jokic. Michael Porter comes in for Najee. And Jamal Murray is subbed in for Jackson. Now here's Melton. No made baskets yet. Bamba finds Oubre. Screen by Bamba. Hey, from beyond the arc. And it's Jordan with the rebound. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Melton attacking. Drops in the layup for two. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. And it's Murray with the ball for Denver. It's a three-point game. Fires the three. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. He's got a confident shot going right now as Jamal's stepping into that three ball. Melton left side. Up top, Maxi. Defended by Murray. And Maxi, here we go. Boom! He jams it straight down. And nobody putting out much of an effort to stop him. Surprising in a close game, a lack of energy on defense. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. Now here's Jordan. Pass to Brown. Jordan with a screen on Maxi. Brown passes to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, this is where DeAndre Jordan's speed as a big pays off. A super dangerous pick and roll player when he sprints out of it. Here's Maxi. Got a piece of it. And we've reached halftime in this one. The Nuggets on top, up by six. Well, now, thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. What else can you say? Joel Embiid, an impressive effort here today. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there. And I'm sure coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. Taking a look at Philadelphia. Maxi runs point with Melton at the two. Kelly Oubre out there with Robert Covington. And it's Bamba in at the five, roaming the paint. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Brent, everyone has a three-point shot now. But Caldwell Pope is a true sharp shooter. This guy can really get the job done from the three-point line, and coaches appreciate the stability that he brings to them on the defensive end. What a great plug-and-play two-guard in the NBA. Embiid, he's checked in for the Sixers. Here's Oubre. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. <laughs> so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat-out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. If there were questions about Caldwell Pope coming into this game, he's answered all of them. He's been sensational. And the 76ers call time here. Jackson, he's checked in for Murray. The Sixers trailing. Maxi passes to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Screen by Embiid. And Maxi, here we go. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Maxi's got nine points. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Capable of dropping the hammer off the drive. Jackson taking charge right there. Maxi, that's good. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jackson's got four points this quarter. 
Good work down low from the 6-2 Reggie Jackson. Not bashful. Here's Maxi. Oh, he trains it. His sixth make and nine tries so far. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. And a nice finish on the layup. Nine points in the game. Good handles from Reggie. The kids would tell you Reggie's in his bag. Melton passes to Embiid. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. First free throw is good. They're one of the most well-rounded players in the game. Embiid is also a top-notch trash talker, too. I mean, he knows how to get under the skin of his opponents. And the 76ers making a change here. Reed's checked in for Covington. Harris comes in for Oubre. Heald's checked in for Melton. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Tyrese Maxey. And the 76ers with some changes. Bamba comes in for Embiid. And Payne is subbed in for Lowry. Here's Payne, driving to the basket, uses the glass on the layup. Payne's got his first bucket in this one. Payne, one of those guys like a water bug, just slippery on the inside, and you, you can't find him. Murray passes to Caldwell Pope. And it's off from three-point range. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Harris misses. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Here's Jokic, who trains the 19-footer. Jokic has got 11. Good quick decision from Jokic. Catch it, shoot it, bury it. Payne, pass to Heald. One forty-six left in the third. Lays it up and banks it in. Yeah, for guards who are young players in the NBA, finishing around the rim is always a focus at this level. Nice job by Heald there. Jokic the screen. And it's Murray off the drive. And it's Murray finishing it off. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. And that's an intentional foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Martin, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. Jackson against Payne. Bamba, a screen on Jackson. Payne, the pass to Bamba. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And Payne just playing eyes up basketball, seeing that opportunity. Watson, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Kyle Lowry's checked in for the Sixers. Denver in the lead. To the middle. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. DeAndre Jordan, I don't think he's shot more than 10 shots outside the paint the last few years, so dunking is what he does. Here's Lowry. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Six points for him. Defenses nowadays try to protect the rim and the three-point line, so the mid-range is usually available. To the wing, right side. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. That free throw, no good. Martin, two shots. And he's good on the second. 32 seconds left in the third quarter. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for Denver. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Jordan with a screen on Lowry. And they call an illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Jackson against Lowry. Don't want to. Pass to Reed. Healed with the ball. For the lead. The putback. Just great positioning to get the rebound, then get it back up. 
It's all tied in Denver. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And it's the Sixers for the ball. We've got Reggie Jackson. DeAndre Jordan is out there with Zeke Dodge. Then there's Christian Brown. And it's Watson in at the three spot. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. And here's Oubre from the arc. Sinks it from distance. Good touch there. Oubre outside the three-point arc and knocks one down. Pass to Maxi. Embiid inside. Working on Jokic, and there's Embiid. That one's good, and the assist from Maxi. I think I've lost track of how many of their possessions have ended exactly like that. In a crucial moment, too. He's been doing that all night. No one's come close to stopping him. Maxi against Caldwell Pope. Oubre, a screen on Caldwell Pope. Offensive rebound, Embiid. Oh, he can't miss. Eight for eight after that shot. And that's the hunger that Embiid plays with. He just gobbles up the miss and goes back up for the score. Outside Oubre. In the air. The kick out to Maxi. Six to shoot. Tries yet again. And he lays it in. And the 76ers lead by seven. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the 76ers. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers, and then scoring on the other end. You know, something else that has stood out is their up-tempo offense. I mean, these guys have been on the track all game long. They're creating high-percentage looks, getting out there on the fast break. Embiid from outside. Showing some range in B. Nice. They're starting to pull away here as their shots keep falling. Start to feel their confidence. That's the difference between the success they're having now and the struggles they faced earlier. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes right now to shoot out. He almost brought the basket down on top of himself. Oh, there's hang time, and then there's a time to hang. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. This is what Jamal Murray does. He hits shots. Maxi attacking. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. The three is up. Jokic grabs the board. The Nuggets trail. Fast break. Here come the Nuggets. Here's Caldwell Pope. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. So reliable with the ball in his hands. Caldwell Pope wanted that shot, and he got it. Embiid a screen on Caldwell Pope for three. Maxi. Oh, he pipes it. Nine for 14 and showing no let up. And I think this hometown crowd is in shock as the visiting squad fires right back with a three of their own. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Right side, Murray. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. How about Murray stepping up? Poise for this young player. Caldwell Pope against Maxi, and the officials will call the illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Order with a screen on Maxi. Murray from outside. The shot that time not on target. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Maxi against Caldwell Pope. 125 left in the fourth quarter. Melton passes to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. And <laughs> one thing you can say about Embiid, he never shrinks from the ball. Murray, shot is good. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Yep, that one's good. Maxi's got 16 in the second half. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. I understand why he took the shot. They need the points. But that's just not a good look. Oh, 
Embiid a screen on Caldwell Pope. Here's Maxi. Oh, and he breaks it down with a two-handed jam. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Yeah, this game is not over when Jamal Murray is still able to play. Maxi surveys. And that one drops for him. And the 76ers lead by six. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring.
We get set to bring you an exciting... And you know, Greg, most of the talk coming into this game focused on the front court matchup. A lot of talent in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big leg up in the physical and mental aspect of this game. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. Walker out there with Pascal Siakam. Then it's Turner. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's Shepard in at the two spot. Lock at two. Here's Hachimura. Walker with the rebound. Here's Indiana. And finished off by Siakam. Big man playing big. Once Siakam gets it there, it's a done deal. Here's Prince. And Prince with the jam. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Here's Halliburton. And Halliburton slams Halliburton. it in. When he wants to, Halliburton can get to the hoop. Boy, he is tough to slow down. Here's Christie. James outside. Halliburton with the steal. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Walker is screen on LeBron. The drive by Siakam. That one Pascal drops for him. Siakam. The tight handle of Pascal Siakam. Don't normally see it in guys that are 6'9". We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their star. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. Walker against James. He takes it in. The rebound by Turner. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. The Pacers shooting their first free throw of the game. And look back a season ago, they, they did a solid job at the line, about 79% of their free throws. And there's the pass to Walker. Halliburton outside. Six on the shot clock. To the paint. Here's Siakam. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Wiry, strong Pascal Siakam with the nice move in that painted area. Here's Christie. Pass to Hachimura. Prince outside. Christie kicks to Hachimura. Drains it from beyond the arc. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Here's Halliburton. Outside Turner. Pass to Shepard. Back to Turner. Takes a three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Makes decisive decisions on the hardwood. Once Turner saw the catch and shoot opportunity, he was locked and loaded. LeBron passes to Davis. James against Walker. Pass to Hachimura. Puts up a three. The Pacers pull it in. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Smitty, we know the list of players from Cameroon is short, but very talented. Yes, it is, Kevin. Pascal Siakam, one of the few players out of Cameroon. Another one, Joel Embiid. That's a lot of talent. James misses. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. And it's Halliburton missing. Lakers trail by nine. James in the post. Still yet to score. Here's Hachimura. Gets a very good look and converts. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Siakam outside. Stolen. And here's the fast break. James kicks to Hachimura. And they double up James. Lakers passing it around. 
Spins. There's the drive. LeBron Somebody's got to rotate over, but who wants to step in front of LeBron? Turner with a screen for Halliburton. And Davis sends it back. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Continuing to hone his three-point shot. Love seeing AD take and make this shot. Prince against Albert. And there's the foul. And it's on Torian Prince. That's his first, That's his first foul. foul. Third team foul. Now into the lineup for your liquor. Halliburton against Prince. Number one. The Walker is screen on Prince. Russell. Got it up. And that one released in time, but no good. Torian Prince, he does it every night. He could... A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Pacers out in front. They lead by two. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. Right now, it's their passing game, and it's been on point. Doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shoes. And the other thing I've been impressed with, guys, is their assertiveness at attacking the paint, trying to hunt for those high percentage looks. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Reddish in at the three. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Outside for Jackson. Out to the right wing. Jackson with the screen. Six to shoot. For the three. Nemhard's shot is good. Now that's a high percentage look when the knee doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Launches a three. Count it, and the pace of lead has been cut down to just two points with the bucket from Reeves. That's what Davis can provide for you. Gave his man such a great look. Here's Nemhard. He's guarded by Russell. Inside, Jackson. And Jackson throws it down hard. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. LeBron against Toppin. Russell with a wide open look. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Smart and so unselfish. Excellent find by LeBron. And talking about LeBron James, Steve, he still is on the hunt for more championships. Kevin, that hunger is still evident. He's all about finishing his career on a strong note, which includes winning as many titles as possible. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. Your Laker, number two. Davis looking for an opening. Vanderbilt. McConnell against Russell. Bucket is good. Russell's got the lead up to one now for Los Angeles. An active competitor, Russell won't go down without a fight, especially around the rim. And, and talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Russell against McConnell. Russell passes to Reeves. That one off the back iron and out. It could be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. And the wide open shot from McConnell. And he's good on the three ball. Now it's a four point Indiana lead. Here's Russell. And it's McConnell with the rebound. Pacers have gone five of six so far from the field in the second quarter. There's a screen by Toppin. Puts up a deep three. The Lakers with the rebound. 
and he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space, but that does make it a tougher shot. Here's Reddish. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Reddish just got his first points in this one. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. And the Lakers making a change here. Woods checked in. The pass to Vanderbilt. At the elbow, it's Reddish. Here's Reeves, guarded by Jackson. Back to Reddish. Pass to Reeves. Uses both hands to slam it down. Love the unselfishness. Not only can Cam create for himself, he can also create for others. McConnell, a good look. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. To the wing right side. Vanderbilt with the screen. Here's Reeves. And the powerful one-handed slam. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. And Toppin throws it down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Russell left side. 19 seconds left in the first half. Tipped away and stolen by McConnell. Here's Nemhard. Connects from three-point range. Now it's a five-point pace relief. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. The Pacers lead by five. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. And you think of height as an advantage in basketball, but break the versatility at such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? It's a valid question. The, the two biggest concerns for seven footers are mobility and durability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. Here's who Rick Carlisle start the second half with. Don Siakam. Also Miles Turner out there. Halliburton is out there with Walker. And it's Shepard in at the shooting guard position. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Davis comes in for Christian Wood. And James subbed in for Vanderbilt. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Christie's Checked in for Dinwiddie. That's his first personal foul. Here's Christie. He has yet to score. Number 10. James, a screen on Siakam. A shot missing. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Halliburton for three. Turner with a screen on Hachimura. And really deep three that time. Halliburton's got six. We've seen him shoot at 40% from deep for a season. So Halliburton, accurate from three-point land. Picks it out to James. LeBron going to work inside. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Halliburton passes to Walker. Walker is screen on Hachimura. Halliburton in the corner. 
Shot clock at five. Here's Walker, and Walker throws it down. When Jarris Walker stuffs it, we feel those pucks over here. Here's LeBron, and James throws it down. Oh, boy, oh, boy, to be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgia, doesn't yeah. it? You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. And he comes it down. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Halliburton feeling it out a bit. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. And Davis pulls it down. Lakers trail by four. And for his size, and Steve went healthy. Anthony Davis is as agile and mobile as they come. That's his secret sauce, Kevin. He has great size and skill. But his ability to move like a guard really separates him from other bigs. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Davis in the corner, fires the three, nailed from three-point land. Davis has got six. Yet another big man who's added the range. AD is now deadly from all three levels. That doesn't go either for Halliburton. Lakers have gone five of six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. Here's Christie, and there's a nice one-handed slam. Boy, you can see their confidence growing. They have reason to believe. Yeah, the reason is they tied it up, but it took a lot of focus and a lot of energy. We'll see if they can sustain this effort. And that's not an easy shot for a big. Siakam showing his comfort level from anywhere. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. <laughs> in this half, a more entertaining one. The pace is picked up, tougher defense, better ball movement. Cans it from downtown. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. And a scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. It's good. Tyrese and it's a six-point pacer lead. Oh, give it to Halliburton. He knows when to force the issue. Oh, epic move by LeBron. Add that one to LeBron's highlight reel. How about the creativity in midair? The Pacers have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Halliburton against Prince. Siakam outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Siakam's got six here in this quarter. That play shows you how much confidence this team has in Siakam's shot. They set him up perfectly. LeBron passes to Hachimura. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Hachimura's got seven points in the game. Not just swinging the ball around the perimeter. Aggressive move inside. Murrow, the screen, takes it inside. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Let's a floater go. Count it good. 13 points in the game. And once Halliburton hits his stride, there's just little you can do defensively, proving how dominant he can be. Tyrese Halliburton has been... We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. So it's the Lakers now. It's a five-point game. Down to the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Reddish in at the three, the small forward. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Cognizant of the entire court. Russell aware of where the defenders are and really does a great job creating opportunities. 
And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Knocks it loose and stolen by McConnell. Out left to the wing. Topping no one around him. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Pacers. Their defense. It's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And not just that. They're also forcing turnovers at a high rate and taking advantage in transition. Really left alone that time. And the Pacers lead by six. And coming down the stretch here, both teams still on fire. Yes, and if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. There's Russell with the three. Toppin pulls it in. Indiana's gone 2-3 in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Here's Nemhard. He's guarded by Davis. It's stolen by Davis. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. LeBron with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Here's the three. And there's Davis. That's good. On the assist by LeBron. You like how Anthony Davis uses the entire perimeter. Finds a shot down in the corner and sinks it. McConnell against Russell. McConnell passes to Matherin. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Matching baskets from the perimeter. An earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. And with that shot, the Indiana League has got down now to just four in the basket from Reeves. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, it just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Here's Jackson, and the dunk by Jackson. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Reeves the pass to Russell. And that's pro. Russell gets his man a little out of position and draws the foul. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much of a fail. First one falls for him. Some changes for the Lakers. Hachimura comes in for Reddish. And it's Prince in for Austin Reed. Yeah, that's who you want stepping to the line when the game is close. Pacers leading by four. Shepard the pass to Turner. Takes it out to Siakam. That ball. Nice. Speed that time from Turner. Siakam's got nine points now in just the second half. From Dean Prince. Kept alive. Out to Russell. Lock at six. Launches it, and it's sent back by Turner. An elite rim protector and shot blocker. Turner excels in rising up and denying those shots. The Pacers making a change here. Halliburton's checked in. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Hayes, he's checked in for Davis. Vanderbilt comes in for LeBron. Christie, he's checked in for Hachimura. And Vincent subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Good work there as it goes. Smart play by Prince. Attack the interior of this defense. Force them to close off the lane. Pacers leading by seven. 124 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Shepard. And a wide open look for Halliburton. Here's Turner. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. And the Pacers lead by nine. Here's Christie. And there's another one for the Lakers. I can't believe that went in, and I don't think he can either. Indiana's gone 4-6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. Over in the corner, Turner. Three-pointer. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. 
Reed. Turner's got the lead up to 10 now for Indiana. And A's kicks to Vanderbilt. Passes it to Vincent. Throws it up high. Turner with the steal. Shot and game clock separated by five. High post try. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And it's desperation time now. Does it matter if it's a two or a three? They need the quickest shot possible. Now, Halliburton.
And Grant, the teams we'll see tonight have some strong veteran leaders. You were in that role not too long ago, my friend. You're right, B.A. It feels like just yesterday. And you need a steady presence and voice on the player side. That really can help a team through some rough stretches throughout the year. And the starting group for the Celtics. The star wing pair. It's Brown and Tatum outside. Then it's Kristaps Porzingis. Then there's Drew Holiday. And it's Tillman in at the power forward. An accurate shooter from distance. Tatum's teammates want him to keep looking to pull the trigger. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Nuggets, Aaron Gordon. That free throw good from Gordon. Both free throws good from Gordon. And talking about Gordon, just a freak athlete and ferocious dunker, a valuable role player on this team. And now we've got an intentional foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Brissett's checked in for Boston. Substitution. Gordon finds Caldwell Pope. Quarter from outside. Rebound Boston. Locking the arc down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Proving he's more than just a go-to sport. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. Holiday against Murray. Holiday surveying the floor. Pass to Tatum. Back to Holiday. Shot clock at six. Reset the screen. Fires top of the key. The shot by Holiday. No good. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Denver Nuggets. It's a three-point game. And then Porter with the dunk. The combo guard, Murray. Capable of hurting you with his scoring as well as with his passing. Porzingis with a screen on Murray. Pass to Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Now, we know he can hit threes, but Kristaps showing he can slam it, too. Here's Porter. Here's Jokic. Now Murray. He's covered by Holiday. Puts up a three. Murray, no good. The Celtics have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Brown passes to Brissett. Back to Brown. Elbow shot. Again, the Celtics. Good for two more. The mid-range is not an issue for Brown. It is just another weapon in his arsenal now. Jokic with a screen on Holiday. Murray for three. Rebound Boston. Outside Holiday. Pass to Porzingis. Tatum with it. First quarter of ball. Almost two and a half minutes in. That one falls. Tatum's got seven points in the game. This is how confident Tatum is. Knows he can score inside whenever he wants. Here's Caldwell Pope. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Outside Holiday. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Tatum from long range. And the Celtics have another three. Taking matters into his own hands, Tatum gets those three points back in a hurry. And even in a short time in the NBA, Tatum has become the model wing for the modern NBA, RJ. Yeah, he does everything so well. Shooting, defense, playmaking, you name it. The Man has it. He gives you everything you want and need in that wing position. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. Another area they've excelled in is the points in the paint. They've been able to gouge the interior defense so far in this one. Najee, he's checked in for Denver. Jackson comes in for Murray. White, he's checked in for Boston. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Outside Tatum, from outside the arc. It's rebounded by Najee. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for Denver. Trailing by four. 
and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. The line for your Nuggets, Zeke Nagy. And the first one at the line is good. A different look for Denver. Jordan comes in for Nikola Jokic. And Brown subbed in for Caldwell Pope. For Boston, they've got six of eight shots to go. Porzingis with a screen on Gordon. Oh, a deep three from Tatum. The long distance Jason three Tatum. is buried. Four three. Tatum's got 13 now. Oh, a big night for Tatum. This is a guy who's put up 60 in the game. There is a short list, very short, that I am not on who have done that. Naji sets a screen. And there's the drive. Let's it go. Kicks it out to Jackson. Second chance shot. Boston with a rebound. A chance to go two for one. And you really must play this just right. And it's Tatum missing. The Nuggets trail. Jackson down low. He's guarded by White. Gordon attacking. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Just wow. A monster flush from the big man. Boston has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Here's White. He's scoreless. Pass to Tatum. Inside. Here's Porzingis. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Assisted. Intelligent Jason play by Tatum. Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. Jackson for three. And that's not going to go. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Celtics. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points leading the charge. We'll be right back after this word. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. DeAndre Jordan is out there with Michael Porter. Then it's Jackson. Reggie then there's Jackson. Christian Brown. And it's Watson in at the small forward position. That's the group for Denver getting going in the second. Outside White. Pass to Tatum. From about 19, Porter pulls it in. To the paint. Here's Watson. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Watson's got his first two points. Boston's gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Now here's Tatum. Defense right on him. From deep. Oh, count it! Tatum hits from way out! Well, Grant is the managing director of the U.S. men's national team. You've gotten to see the wealth of international talent firsthand. It's so true, B.A. I mean, I've got so much respect for the international game. You know, over 25% of the players in the NBA right now are international players, and they produce superstar talents like Doncic, Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. The U.S. has more competition now than ever. Down low. Here's Horford. The kick to Tatum. Screen by Horford. Second chance effort. Tatum just so strong inside. Ooh, good little touch on the floater. Tatum making it look way too easy. Order the pass to Jordan. That one doesn't drop. Horford with some nice D. Jackson against White. Horford, left side. Fires the three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jordan with it. Picked up by Tatum. And DeAndre Jordan gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. And some changes here for the Celtics. Cornette comes in for Horford. And it's Brown in for Jason Tatum. Now here's White, guarded closely. 
Pass to Springer. Oh, it's stolen. Back come the Nuggets on the run. Oh! And you can tell they're in sync right now. Expertly turning the steal into fast break points. Outside White. Brown with a screen. Here's Springer. Defended by Jackson. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easy. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. If you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team, that is a huge boost in a tight game like this. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got four rebounds now. Jackson, the pass to Jordan. Outside for Porter. There's a screen. To the middle. Here's Watson. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. A solid read from Porter Jr. When he makes quality passes like this, it helps his team's overall chemistry. White, the pass to Cornet. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Inside, here's Brown. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. And it's Jackson's responsibility to find his open teammates. And a terrific dime there. Cornet sets a screen. Here's Brown. And such a nice move to make that bucket possible. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. To the paint, Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. That is a perfect placement of that dime. Just guided it right to him. The Celtics with the lead. Outside White. Cornette sets the screen. White, the pass to Cornette. The shot won't fall. Some solid defense from Jordan. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. With some arc. And it's laid in by Jackson. Jackson's gotten his second bucket of the game. And challenging the defense inside. Jackson with no fear. Pass to Brown. The shake. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Celtics. Jalen Brown. Two shots. Free throw good. Brown. Brown now an elite scorer in this league. Really does it all. And both free throws good for Brown. It's stolen by Holiday. He got it up. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Celtics out in front, leading by a point. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. And let's see if the D adjusts make life a little more difficult on him. And so Murray will bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. It's a one-point game. Kicking off the second half, here's Joe Mazzula's five. The star wing pair, it's Brown and Tatum outside. Then it's O'Shea Brissett. Then there's Drew Holiday. And it's Tillman in at the five. Woo, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Outside, Brown.
Tatum, a screen on Caldwell Pope. Just four to shoot. Here's Brown. Brown cashes in. A terrific finisher inside. I love seeing Brown get it done inside. He's more than just a jump shooter. Outside, Caldwell Pope. And a minute played as the second half gets going. With the putback, goes up again. Naji, good. Yes, Naji's got five points. We've seen five lead changes so far. Neither team able to pull away. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. And he commits the intentional foul. Chris stops Porzingis. He's checked in for Tillman. Here's Gordon. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Here's Jokic. Pass to Naji. Here's the three. He buries it from three. And now it's a four-point Denver lead. Oh, man. I mean, the passing from Jokic is off the charts. Gave his man just a great look. And here's Porzingis. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. First team. Ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. He hits the second from the line. Standing at 7-3, we have never seen a player quite like Kristaps Porzingis. A fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. And although he's undersized in his position, his vertical, yeah, that will take up a few mistakes. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Back to Holiday. Pass to Porzingis. Now Holiday. Here's Porzingis, covered by Jokic. On the wing, Murray. 4 3. Out to Gordon. Here's Naji. Fires for three. Buries it from three. Naji's got 12 now in this quarter. And once Gordon spots an open guy, he immediately moves the ball. Just well-coached offense right there. Here's Brissett. It's rebounded by Naji. Naji's got five rebounds tonight. And here are the Nuggets. They're on a 12-4 run. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't make sense, given the situation. Al Horford's checked in for Brissett. Al Horford. Naji passes to Jokic. Back to Naji. This one for three. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. They're starting to pull away here as their shots keep falling. Yeah, the D is looking helpless to stop them right now. They're doing whatever they want to do on offense. Porzingis sets a screen. Tatum from long range. Tatum drills the three. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. Absolutely, and they have to continue to go to him. Here's Najee, and it's flushed down. A nice jam. He's just too quick to the cup. No one near him to get posted. Pass to Tatum. Back to Holiday. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. Clock at six. Horford, a screen on Gordon. Tatum from long range. And again, Boston with the triple. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. Yeah, and you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the floor. They're ready to fire and this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Fast break. Here come the Nuggets. Here's Najee. Had a miss there on the triple. Locking the arc down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. Nails it from beyond the arc. From year to year, Holiday is a little inconsistent from three, but the defense has to respect his shot. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Horford finds Tatum. They kick it out to Porzingis. Tatum passes to Brown. 
To the inside. Horford. Deflected. Outside. Caldwell Pope. Gets the three to fall. Caldwell Pope's got nine. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Nuggets ahead. Leading by... With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Austin trailing. We've got Christian Brown, Michael Porter out there with DeAndre Jordan. Then there's Reggie Jackson, and it's Watson in at the three. That's the group on the floor for Denver. You see the great fundamentals. Horford sets up for the quick shot off the feed. No hesitation. Here's Porter. Over to the wing. From behind the arc. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. And they're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Man, this has been a fun one. But look, who doesn't love a high scoring game? Pass to Hauser. Here's Porzingis. Watson with a rebound. And for the Nuggets, they're shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. Jackson outside. Takes a three. Jalen Brown with a rebound. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. To the middle. Here's Porzingis. Even though Porzingis can shoot over anyone, he still does all the little things that make a difference. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far from the Nuggets? Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. Yeah, all throughout the game, the opposition hasn't been able to keep them off the glass, and they're paying for it, giving up second-chance points. Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's putting the work to defy that assumption. All right, time for an injury report. Hey guys, the head athletic trainer of the Celtics was able to update me on the situation, and unfortunately, this could be a season-altering injury. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And you never want to speculate. So it's nice for us, and especially his teammates, to get some facts. Murray against Holiday. There's the three. The rebound, Celtics. And as long as he keeps missing from deep, the D will keep letting him fire away. He's just off from range right now. White for three. Porter pulls it in. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. It's an even three-on-three -three break. Here's Jokic. Oh, what a slam from the big man, Jokic. And dunking it with authority inside. This is why Jokic guys look to feed him down there. Murray against Holiday. Horford, a screen on Murray. Holiday passes to Horford. Count it, and one. He'll have a chance in the three-point play. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Shooting for Boston. Al Horford. The free throw is off from Horford. If you want to talk about a high-value veteran, Al Horford is your guy. I mean, he's been around the block and has a ton of wisdom to share with younger guys. That's more than enough space for him to get that shot up. Ooh, here's White on the drive. Here's Porzingis. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got four rebounds now. White against Murray. White, the pass to Porzingis. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Porzingis has got four points now in the quarter. Oh, my. Huge play from Porzingis. A testament to the competitiveness that he plays with. And this is why they go to Murray in critical spots of the game. He just knows how to come through. Ooh. Porzingis with a screen on Caldwell Pope. Porzingis puts it on the deck. Oh, it's Porzingis. 
Davis with the jam. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. And he lost his man. With a shifty play inside. And then just went and hammered it home. Wow. White for three. Three-pointer goes up. Three-pointer goes down for White. And defensively, how do you leave them that open in crunch time? And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. And the Nuggets making a change here. Jackson is checked in. Brissett's checked in for Boston. Jalen Brown comes in for Drew Holiday. White against Jackson. Into the lane. And the powerful one-handed slam. Yeah, sees the floor well. I mean, Jackson, a fantastic facilitator. White against Jackson. The three is up. White can't hit. I understand why he took the shot. They need the points, but that's just not a good look. Jokic passes to Watson. Good D by Porzingis. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. White, the pass to Porzingis. Oh, sweet move. Money. It's been great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Here's Caldwell Pope. Offline with a three. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And this is so critical. They now have to score every trip up the floor. Pretty much they have to be perfect the rest of the way. That puts tremendous pressure on your offense. Outside White. And that'll be Boston's ball as it goes out of bounds. Celtics, Celtics able to keep possession here. He had the right idea. Just couldn't come up with the swipe. And deflections, they're a stat that all teams track. They show who is the most active defensively. And they foul intentionally. Now, they're going to have to do that again. They're not in the penalty just yet. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Zeke Nagy. Boston foul, Christox Porzingis. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. At the line for Denver. He's off on the free throw, unable to get the Celtics second one to drop. Timeout called, the Celtics. They're losing by three. Five ticks left in the fourth. All right, guys, what do you think? They should have a play prepared for this scenario. Little time, you need a three. Of course, the D will be guarding the line, but no one said it was going to be easy. And looking to even the score with a huge three. That's their only option. They have to get a good look from deep here.
you do. Kevin, you know, it's so important to have that kind of depth. I mean, it helps you through the length of that 82 game grind of a season. Successful teams, in my opinion, always have weapons coming off the bench. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. In at the guard spots, Maxi and Melton. Kelly Oubre out there with Robert Covington. And it's Embiid in at the center, filling out the middle. Here's Maxi. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Maxi embraces and welcomes that kind of defense. He's confident in hitting that shot even while under some pressure. And Robert Covington picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Team foul. Melton against Russell. Count it. They opened the gates and he came through. D'Angelo, quick recognition. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a three-point game. And the dunk by Covington. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. And hard not to love it. Boy, I love the way he plays, Greg. He's effervescent in his approach. Plays with great speed and pace and fearlessness. He's got a readiness to him and a workmanlike approach that bodes well for him the rest of his career. I think he's a potential all-star, and he delivers in just about any situation he's put in. Here's Christie after the made shot from Kelly Oubre. Passes to Christie. To Russell. Just five to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. No coverage that time. Hachimura's got six points. Exactly what you want from your point guard. Nice dime to the open teammate by Russell. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. It's stolen. Embiid against LeBron. Covington wide open. He fires. And the three ball is good. He has five. Man, nice perimeter shooting by Robert Covington. Just has such a really aesthetically pleasing release on those long ball attempts. Here we go. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Maxi into the lane. Just way too fast for him. Maxi quick on the drive. Here's Russell. Pass to Davis. Shoots the three. Rebounded by Covington. And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. Trailing by two. Nice pass from Melton. Solid job of getting it to his teammates. Hard last season, the Lakers making major trades, shaking up the roster, reforming their team. Yeah, you know, Kevin, they had four players left from opening night. That was it. Three major trades bringing in new talent, and that makes it difficult to find cohesion. So give L.A. a lot of credit for making that playoff run. Tough shot that time by Melton, but, you know, he's used to having the muscle through the contact. Russell passes to Hachimura. Hachimura with a screen on Covington. And James throws it down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Now, here's Oubre. There's the feed to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Dropping the hammer. That's why Embiid looks to get deep inside position. Maxi against Christie. Out to the right wing. Here's Russell with the three. And it's rebounded by Covington. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. Here's Maxi. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Not only is Max solid and efficient from the line, but he gets there quite a bit, too. 
Well, Clark, even with all their roster movement, all the player moves they've made, the 76ers have managed to have sustained success. You know what, Kevin? I agree. Their roster has gone through a lot of changes recently with key players being moved, which makes it even harder to sustain success. But they've found a way to keep winning. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. MB. And MB throws it down. Well, Maxi continues improving as a facilitator, finding these opportunities to get the ball moving. Ball's knocked loose. Covington with a steal. Now, here's Maxi, guarded by Reddish. Oubre outside. And a dunk by Embiid. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stunt. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up a defense. A big time effort for Joel Embiid, providing. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away. But the inside area is their territory. And one other thing they've done well today, guys, share the ball. I mean, set up teammates and just playing unselfishly. Taking a look at the 76ers, they've got Martin. Heald is out there with Lowry. Then there's Harris. And it's Bamba in at the center position. Prince, the pass to Reeves. Shot clock at six. Let's it go from the wing. And another basket for the Lakers. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Bamba sets a screen. A shot by Lowry. Wide open. Sinks the triple. Lowry's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Lakers trail by four. To the wing on the left. Here's Reeves. Covered by Heel. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And an eye for her. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And now they decide to foul attention. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. And the Lakers making a change here. Vanderbilt's checked in. Robert Covington's checked in for the 76ers. And Clark, when we talk about the best three-point shooters in the league, Buddy Hill is in that conversation. Most definitely. I mean, only Steph has more seasons with 250 or more threes made. That says a lot right there. Buddy is a floor spacer. He can never help or double off of him, which is a big asset in today's game. When your big man can pop out and knock down the corner three, it certainly opens up the whole offense. Prince in the corner from past the arc. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Covington kicks to Bamba. He dishes it to heel. Back to Bamba. And the jump by Bamba. And Heald's playmaking continues to improve. Solid pass right there to the open teammate. Reddish with the ball. Unguarded by Heald. And that's an intentional foul. Martin's checked in for Robert Covington. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for Philadelphia. And it's Heald off the drive. And then Heald with the dunk. Oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. To the left wing. Here's Reeves. Sinks the three-pointer. Reeves has got eight points here in this quarter. Guess the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. And the foul on Cam Reddish. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. We've got 155 left in the first half of basketball. 
not settling for the layup. Sometimes you got to go strong, and Harris gets the chance to stuff it there. He didn't let it slip by him. Davis, the pass to Reeves. And Bamba pulls it down. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that ball. Heel finds Martin. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. And finished off by Martin. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. To the left side wing. Reeves the pass to Davis. Here's Reeves, covered by Heel. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And the three-point shot has just been money so far tonight. 59 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Lowry drives in. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Relentless is a word to describe Lowry. He is a wrecking ball of a guard. Now, here's Reddish. Still without a basket. Reeves the pass to Vanderbilt. Pass to Reeves. Let's the three fly. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Three pointer heel. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. Heald's got five points so far. Leave it to Heald to respond. A consistent three-point sniper. Here's Reeves, covered by Heald. Tries the spin move. One second left. And no luck with that time on the buzzer meter. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. And prepare for Red Panda. on the scoreboard yet. And players and coaches want a consistent whistle, Clark. Isn't that harder, though, when minor contact can be called a foul? Yeah, it is, Kevin, but I do think the officials do a great job. At the NBA level, there's more latitude for physical contact. These are the best players in the world. They're also the most athletic and the strongest players in the world. So giving them room, and I think the officials do a great Kelly job Oubre of Jr. officiating the game the way it should be. And I understand the cry about consistency, but remember now, the officials, much like the players, coaches, and broadcasters, they too are human. Jared Vanderbilt out there with Hachimura. Then it's Russell. Then there's Christie. And it's Wood in at the five, roaming the pace. That's the group starting the second half for Darvin Ham. Maxie taking up that airspace, doing a nice job, just bouncing off the floor there. Christie kicks to Russell. There's the pass to Wood. There's the triple. Six to shoot. Passes it to Hachimura. Shoots over Oubre. No good off the back of the rim. The 76ers leading by seven. In court for years, the Lakers have been the premier destination for free agents. Think that's still the case now? I do. I mean, it's still Los Angeles. The history of the Lakers is one of the premier franchises in the league along with the Celtics. So I think the cap room is the driver, though. That's always the great equalizer in this day and age. And I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. Guys, you can just about count on it. If you score on Russell, you better believe he's looking to come right back at you. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. 
and he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Here's Maxi. And that's Russell. I mean, has the length to disrupt and bother shots, even against bigger or more explosive athletes. Davis with a screen on Covington. James misses. Yeah, but the defense was determined not to give him an inch of free space. Oubre nails the 16-footer. Oubre has got five points now this quarter. Well, this man knows how to handle that rock. Looks like it's part of his body. James in the post. And Bede's there. Here's Hachimura. Knocks down the three ball. Hachimura's got nine. Great feed from Davis. A big guy with nice vision. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. They've led by as much as ten. Pass to Maxi. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Hamid Bamba, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Tobias Harris comes in for Oubre. Heald's checked in for Milton. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Maxi. Bamba setting the pick for Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Here's Russell. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. You know, not really an explosive athlete, but Russell has a bag of tricks. He's crafty. He's slick. The up fake. Getting the defender to overcommit there. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Prince has checked in for Hachimura. And it's Austin Reeves in for Christie. And one thing you respect about Russell is his ability to get the rock in the hoop. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he puts he puts points on the board in bunches. No matter what uniform he's wearing, this guy is a legitimate lethal scorer. Lowry against Russell. From deep. A shot by Lowry. No good. Lakers trail by seven. It's Prince on the wing. Yes! It's James picking up the assist. Prince has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Russell against Lowry. In the corner, it's healed. It's Covington on the wing. There's the dish to Lowry. Back to Covington. And he uses Robert the glass on the lane. And that's now the seven points for Robert Covington. Kyle oh, Covington Lowry. really is fantastic at getting his arms high in the air when he's attempting a shot inside. Really gives the defense no chance to catch up to it or get to it. The ball distribution is there. The outstanding work all the way around. Lowry against Russell. To Harris. This one for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Harris has got five points in the quarter. Responding with the three. Harris understands that you got to fight fire with fire. Six seconds separating the shot game clocks. Prince, the pass to Reeves. The three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Green and I for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. The drive by Lowry. Lays it up and banks it in. Lowry's got seven points in the game. And, and try and name a six-footer who likes to operate inside more than Lowry. He is a beast. Reeves. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Oh. Okay, fans. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Lakers trail by five. Taking a look at the 76ers. In at the guard spots, Maxie and Melton. And Bede is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Oubre in at the small forward position. LeBron slashes inside. He's so good at creating his own shot. He's just got an endless supply of moves. LeBron James. 
Knocked away. It's stolen by Reddish. Here's Reeves. And they call the fouls. And here we go with the coach's challenge. I'm surprised in a competitive game like this. And he's disputing the personal foul call. And I think when it comes to some of That's his first personal foul. First team the action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay review. One shot. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. I think a lot of people have been hoping for. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. And out of bounds is the Lakers gain possession. Lakers ball. The Lakers trail. Finish with the ball. Right wing. And the pass to Reeves. James a screen on Melton. Reeves can't hit. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Here's Maxi and slam dunk by Maxi. When Maxi is clicking on all cylinders, he is a tough guy to slow down. The Lakers have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by Melton. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the 76ers. You love how they've lived in the paint, making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. You know, another thing that stands out to me is their passing in this game. I mean, they've done a tremendous job sharing the ball and setting each other up for success. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. That is the pass to Reeves. James in the high post. Lets it fly from 18. That's good. The Philadelphia lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Hachimura. And a solid shooter from mid-range. Hachimura with textbook fundamental. And here's Covington from the arc. Another three for Philadelphia. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. If you don't want to give up easy threes at this stage. And yet we thought we might see it. And the coach's challenge has been triggered on the personal foul call. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constitutes team at the line for the Lakers. Make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays. After review, the ruling on the floor stands. How fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes. You know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They have decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, guys. During the last time out, I listened to Nick Nurse talk to his team. Now, with the game in the balance, he had some encouraging words for his team. He said, this is what we wanted. We thought if we kept it close, we could pull it out. Now, let's go out there and do just that. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Prince against Heal. To tie it up. And Russell with the layup. Russell's got the game tied up here for the Lakers. Well, he never seems to get rattled. He's got a very calm, steady demeanor about himself. D'Angelo making it look easy. And the foul on Cam Reddish. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. Here's Heal. First team foul. There's 154 left to play here in the fourth. And he comes up with the deuce. And the 76ers lead by two. 
And that is a big time performance. I, I like how he embraces the responsibility of being the alpha dog on that one. Russell dishes to LeBron. Out to Russell. Down to five on the shot clock. Prince's shot is good. There you have it, Prince. Stepping up big time. This guy played all four years in college, and I see evidence of that confidence and maturity there. Maxi with it, and it's Reddish picking him up. Here's Melton. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And something else that stands out is how efficient they've been from the mid-range, making the most of their opportunities. Huge free throws there. Now they've got the lead. Reddish out to Russell. James sets the screen for Russell. Prince outside. Let's it go with a three. Rebound by the 76ers. They've led by as much as 10. Here's Heal. There's the try. Yes! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. It's in! And what a sensational bucket to put them within one. Well, they're having major trouble dealing with the bomb. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possession. And the foul on Cam Reddish. That's his third foul so far. On a situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. A very solid free throw shooter. Maxi can certainly get it done here. Guys, this possession could decide their fate. They have to be careful with the ball. Prince finds Russell. Davis with a screen on Melton. And it's Russell missing. Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. Embiid with it. Picked up by Davis. Embiid, the pass to Maxi. And the foul on Kim Reddish. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. Right on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. At the line for the 76. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. Russell with a wide-open look. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, wow, talk about saving something for the end. D'Angelo getting it done. You the man. Here's him. Deed. 